This podcast features adults using adult language. You have been warned. Previously on Acquisitions Incorporated. Having received tragic family news, Omen Drawn, along with Jim Darkmagic and Morgane, travels to the Taimora Temple in Waterdeep to restore his sisters Auspicia and Portentia to life. There they meet new intern Cthris Drow, a drow warlock with magics on loan from a dark patron god. Before I go out with this guy, I want to know that he's up to our standards. Can you do a trick for me? That is fucking awesome. <laughs> I'm a conduit for this dark entity, and I make requests of it. And you have tattoos? I got a lot of tattoos. Oh, you magically get a tattoo exactly like <laughs> Chris. The party gathers before the still forms of Omen's sisters. This is the first time you've been re reunited with both of your sisters since you were separated. <clears throat> Well, yes, yeah, as, as a child. Yeah. Knowing that they would be brought here and all that, you've secured uh, the, the resources that you need to cast the raised dead. Yeah, which is something about a grand yeah, worth of GP. But when Omen attempts to raise the dead, the gem goes dark, and you realize that the spell did not work. I throw the gem directly through the stained glass window. Oh, shit. This is what I get for nine levels of service. It's that crisis of faith, son. I need you basically to go CSI Afterworld. What's on the menu? I have contact other plane. <laughs> if I succeed, I can ask an extra planar entity five questions, and if I fail, I go insane. <laughs> but this isn't any old game of Dungeons and Dragons. With Cthris rendered insane. God, I f***ed up so bad, you guys. <laughs> the party's only hope is consulting an oracle known as the Orb of the Allfather. They travel by airship to the forbidding spine of the world. But along the way... As you're putting on your robe, you are distressed to discover that you've got a blemish. It's almost like the veins in your arm are turning black. Jim consults a specialist. I know we just met, um, but can I show you something that I just... <laughs> Dark ass yeah, naked. seen anything like this before. First thing you're keen to find out is, has Jim ever died before? How often do you die? <laughs> like twice a week, like socially? <laughs> this guy is... <laughs> but Jim is forced to rub some dirt on it and walk it off like a big boy when the airship arrives at the Oracle's Ice Temple. But while trying to avoid the attention of the giant standing guard... He seems to be following the sound. We should stop walking. We stop. We stop. We stop dead. If I move really slow... Oh my god! The party is embroiled in a puck-strewn, hockey-style melee frenzy on ice. After clearing the room and stabilizing Omen, the party learns that something called a soulmonger is responsible for both Jim's necrotic curse and his sister's missing souls. The evil that is trapping souls is drawing life from those who have been raised from the dead. But anybody in the entire world that has been resurrected from the dead is now dying? That's every hero. Right. Yeah, how do we? How can we destroy the soulmonger? Acquisitions Incorporated plots a course for a fabled lost city with a mythic dungeon beneath but not before ditching their defective warlock in the little town of Red Larch. Charm is the enemy, the past, and threatens the fastest weapon. You wouldn't make it past a second, and that's the question. Play it brash and wet as... As Jim's condition worsens, Morgane leaves on business, and Viari returns to the airship. Omen invokes a clause in an ancient contract to bring a new intern on board, which causes some dissent among the party. I don't really know why I'm here. You summoned me? Join the club. <laughs> I was able to purchase a contract that allows me more or less absolute control over where you go for 10 gold. <laughs> uh, 10? You didn't even like- 10 gold. Did you haggle with them? Well, I, I, it could have been less. I was, uh, <laughs> Viari was actually just really wondering if her contract was probably better than his. The journey finally takes them to far-flung Chult, where they hope to discover the location of the Soulmonger. The party visits their local library to research this place and its fickle gods as well as Prince Wakanga's lore about the lost city of Oralunga. But this place of learning becomes a place of burning when one T assassins attack. And as I cast the fireball, I'm going to like consciously look at Jim and just be like, like, <laughs> yeah. like fingers just like pointing at him like, 
Look at this. It's like rude gesturing. They begin saying in unison, we are not here to hurt you. We are here to steal Wakanga's lore. Let us take what we want and leave, and you will not be harmed. You know, I... I willingly fail this role. <laughs> Beautiful snake woman chanted at me. I'm like, I am so sorry. Now, we return to the place named this, with Jim Dark Magic's life hanging in the balance, a world spanning curse that could destroy life as they know it, and a pro am dinosaur fun run about to commence. Put your hands together for the original A Team. This is Acquisitions Incorporated. It's a cellar rack. costume. <laughs> this is the normal me. I've just kind of let myself go downhill since the election. <laughs> Tonight, I'm going to run a few friends of mine through our new D&D story. It's called Tomb of Annihilation. It's a story about a lich whose home is invaded by murderous adventurers. <laughs> and he has to rig all kinds of ingenious traps to defeat them. I wanted to call it Tomb Alone. but I was outvoted. <laughs> Anywho, before we begin, you see this? This is a talisman of the sphere. It lets me control my sphere of annihilation, but I think the batteries are dead. <laughs> my sphere is gone. I don't know where it is, but it was here a while ago. So it might still be here. So, okay, you should watch out for that. <laughs> I'm undying up here. <laughs> I've heard all the jokes, I've heard all the jokes. Sphere today, gone tomorrow. <laughs> it was just Sphere a minute ago. <laughs> so Tomb of Annihilation releases on September 19th. But those of you with wisdom scores of 18 or higher can probably get it earlier. But let's get this game underway, okay? But just before I bring the players out, I know how much you all like to say green flame. Green flame! Together. <laughs> but for this show, I'd like to add another new element. So when I or one of the other players or your mom says, prepare to be, you will say in unison, annihilated. <laughs> Sound good? All right then. 
Player number one is Patrick Rothfuss. Biari, prepare to be. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Player number two is Jerry Holkins. Menifis here were drawn, prepare to be. <laughs> Our third player is a special guest from the awesomely DM'd live stream show, <laughs> Dice Camera Action, <clears throat> Holly Conrad. I really like Holly. I don't want her to be annihilated. <laughs> Player four. <laughs> Last but not least, Mike Krahulik. <laughs> Jim Dark Magic. Prepare to be. <laughs> Let's get this show on the road. <laughs> I can see. <laughs> Nobody steal my staff. <laughs> you'll, you'll get a staph infection. Oh, no. <laughs> Here, so, Chris, I actually have a question. So, is that your actual normal Canadian voice? <laughs> <laughs> is that like regular Chris? Yes, Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> so, how are things? <laughs> oh, good, you seem, you seem good. You seem like you're doing good. You prefer me with my face on? Yeah. <laughs> I'm scared. No, it's actually worse. It's way worse, yeah. Because right. that's a skull. It's fine if you have a skull as long as it's covered with your regular face. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> you know. I got a new, I got a new dice tin. Ooh. Oh. Jeez. So Ooh, shiny. shiny Fancy dancy. So these are annihilation dice. Oh. <laughs> Sounds great. That's great. All right. <laughs> and they're probably all roll 20s, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, even the D6s. Wow. <laughs> no, it's a trick. It's, it's all 20s except for when it's a 21. <laughs> so we're going to jump ahead just a little bit, and it's the next day. And if you recall, Jim really had his heart set on participating in the dinosaur races. How, you know, how many times in your life are you going to get to race dinosaurs? <laughs> Three. Three, yeah. Three. I, yeah. Get my notes. So, um, Port Nyanzaru in the morning is a splendid place. Uh, you guys have left the comforts of your um, merchant lord friend, Wakanga Otamu, having learned that in the city there is a temple to Savras, the god of divination and prophecy, and there a priest named Grandfather Satimbe, who might be able to guide you or at least give you some insight of where you need to go to find this lost city of Omu. Uh, and as you step out into the dazzling morning sunshine, you can see that the city is alive with color, people moving around with feather parasols in beautiful, splendid, canary yellow, bright, vibrant pink and purple, loose, billowy robes. Uh, there's a business here 
of getting ready for the dinosaur race, where everybody gathers around merchants to get the, all the accoutrements that they need, uh, whistles and horns and confetti and all kinds of crazy stuff can be sold here. Uh, just to check before we jump onto that, I've been texting the snake girl. <laughs> um, How's that going? Has, has she, uh, has she hit me back yet? <laughs> Uh, she has not. Oh, she ghosted you, man. I learned that from my millennial friends. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dave. So the way Port Lyonsaru is laid out, it's kind of like the street, the main streets kind of form a very weird, uh, twisted figure eight. And as they start to clear the boulevards for the dinosaur races, people are starting to crowd in certain places, but you can also see children running along the rooftops people coming out onto balconies, which are just covered with flowers. And then there are these arches that are occasionally over the roads, and people have climbed up onto those as well. So this isn't like a, an explicit track designed for this purpose. This is, no. they convert the town yes. into a uh, race festival scenario. Exactly, yeah, it's like the horse races of Siena, or the right. bull races. Exactly. So the whole city is sort of moving carts and things out of the roadways to give as much room as possible. I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> and Jim, you're feeling a little weaker and more withered. You've lost another hit point off your maximum. Are you serious? Yeah. Okay, well, I I'm down to 27 now. Yep. That is the same as zero hit points. <laughs> yeah. But okay. because but you're wearing I, I that magical mask. mask, it's concealing your infirmity from everyone around. I look good. You look smashing. Right. But like a light breeze can just take you out <laughs> fast. No, just yeah. limbs, just woo. <laughs> yeah, there he goes. He's gone. Any business you want to take care of? Uh, now, you know that you have a couple options. You can either try to buy a dinosaur at the last minute and throw Jim on the back of it, <laughs> hope, hope it goes in the direction it should, or you can saddle up with a team and try to finagle your way in. I, listen, I am confident that if you guys put me on a dinosaur, put me in, coach. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to race. I, I'm going to tell them that I, I can help this a little bit. I actually have enlarge reduce, which will uh, make him smaller. So you can just put him on a I, dinosaur and he'll be faster than he is now. What I'm you... very, Jim is very slim. I want, I want you to understand Even that. smaller, like tiny. If, He's if a good size. You <laughs> use that on the dinosaur. Yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jim, I, Jim I, would I, seem comparatively smaller. Yeah, I assumed that enlarge, that enlarge reduce was going to be affecting the dinosaur no, somehow. No, no, you can't make the dinosaur bigger. I mean, <laughs> you could. Are there, any, are there any rules to this race? So the rules are pretty simple. You have to go in a direction and keep going in that direction. No, don't go down any side streets or you're out of the race. <laughs> okay. And then... No attacking the other riders and dinosaurs. Oh. Now, now is, that a, is that a for real rule, or is that sort of a <laughs> Marcus of Queensberry, like, <laughs> like, like this is how you're taught to fight, and then one of these people is going to kick a squaw in the nuts? Your, invest, your investigation is that it's fair game if nobody sees you. Rubbing's racing. <laughs> Tom Cruise, come on. Yeah, 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 I know what it is. Now, listen. <laughs> so... What's the price differential between him being in, don't listen to this part, huh? Uh, <laughs> between like, you know, any old dinosaur and then like a team dinosaur? Like, what, could, what would I expect to pay? So if you can get him on a team, you don't have to pay anything. Ooh. If you want to buy your own dinosaur, however, it will depend on the dinosaur you want to buy. Come on, man. How do you not buy your own? Point of reference, a triceratops here costs 500 gold. Oh, that's, that's nothing. That's nothing. a steal. If we make him tiny, he'll get on a team. I... But no, here, here's the thing. You've okay. got to remember, they stud these out if they win a race. So you buy the dinosaur cheap. <laughs> and then you sell the semen. <laughs> <laughs> Tale as old as time. <laughs> Song as old as rhyme. <laughs> Is it different potions or what? Like, it's a Soups. it's it's a kind of potion. Um, okay. So, I uh, I'm I'm intrigued by this. Yes. Five hundred gold is not outside of the realm of possibility. Something but I have to say, I am not a dinosaur expert. Can any of you claim 
Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, my animal handling is pretty good, but I think that generally speaking, I am just like a horse's Animal ferrets. handling is important. Yeah. Jim's animal handling is off the charts. <laughs> It, it, I put a lot of points into it. It's, <laughs> Why? I'm very, I'm very good with it because of situations like this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You have a lot of doves. I mean. Yeah. yeah. All right. Here. Well, this is this is this is a special time, obviously, in a young man's life. Yeah. Um, all right. Let's let's. Uh, uh, Viari, I want to I want to absorb your counsel. How how can I help just, you? Just one thought. Yes. I think right now the morning of the race, people who wanted to sell their dinosaur and they haven't yet, they're going to be desperate. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. this is, this and is then, the 11th and, hour. Well, exactly. And then, and obviously, ringing out the desperate is something I have several points in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I, As I like, you are watching yeah. and talking among each other, a dinosaur goes lumbering past you, and it is a triceratops with racing stripes painted on the side. Oh, my gosh! Omen! And there is a rider who's wearing a bronze helm with tusks, so you can't see the face all that clearly, uh, and also a, a back fan that looks like the fins of a dinosaur. Is there a for sale sign on it? No, this actually is one of the racers. Oh. Based on their appearance, you think there's a, a level of ostentation to this that you weren't anticipating. Well, but honestly, like, I don't, I'm not opposed to that. No. Well, how, how are we? No, no, we are, Make a perception yeah. check. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'll use this hugely impressive die here. Oh, jeez. Oh, Perception. That's a 20. It's the girl from last night. <laughs> wow. I think I found us a team. <laughs> okay. Or a dinosaur. I. This doesn't look. Is, does a dinosaur have a pit crew? Yes, they're following in its wake, basically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I am really torn. Yeah, and you can see she is trying not to look at you. <laughs> oh, man. Can I yell hi at her? <laughs> you can. It's Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hey, Viari, it's the girl from last night. There she is. <laughs> She's up on top of this dinosaur. That's hey, weird. lady, Viari's right here. Look at him. <laughs> They've walked past now, a little ways. <laughs> I'm going to go do reconnaissance. <laughs> Is that what they call it? <laughs> and bard school? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a whole class. Um, are you going to come back soon? Um, define soon. 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 I also am going to... Oh, about I'm gonna, three minutes. I'm going to... Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm going to do it twice. Uh, <laughs> um, but uh, no, actually, uh, just I'm going to go see a thing. I, I will be back. And, uh, and I, I need clothes. It needs fancier clothes. Okay. Flashy branding. Branding. Yep, yeah. Clothes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sort of a sateen? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sort of a... You know my colors. Yeah, okay. I'm a summer. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, you can hear Bookie's taking uh, bets. And, uh, in fact, uh, you know that the dinosaur just walked past you is called Ubtau's favorite. Well, okay. That sounds um, good. But as you kind of lean in and listen to some of the Bookie's uh, taking the bets, uh, you think that there is a well-trained Hadrosaurus who's come up through the ranks <coughs> named Banana Candy. <laughs> who might just pull off an upset and steal victory from the jaws of Big Honker. Oh, <coughs> oh no. And so these are all the established ones from the teams, right? Is the Hadrosaur the one with like, the, little, yeah. the, the little bald head? Got the knob, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. Um, an Omenosaur. I, I could go for that. Yep. Yeah. Uh, word on the street, too, is this could be Mountain Thunder's last race. Okay, so it's, it's aging out of the game? Yeah. And aging into the meat game. <laughs> <laughs> There's two games. I, I like this idea of the underdog who's ready to, to win. Oh, you're getting a little static. There you go. Oh, my cake. <laughs> it's, just so, it's just so tall. No. 
<laughs> Alyssa Grant, everybody. Alyssa Grant, everybody. All right. <laughs> pop the collar. You cannot unpop Jim's collar. <laughs> right. Now, so I am curious about banana candy. Yes. All right. I didn't. That's I didn't, totally cool. I, my, I didn't quite hear what you said. Banana. There. I want banana candy. Okay. Three to one odds. <clears throat> no, so do, we, do, they, do they announce what team Banana Candy is on? It's on the Banana Candy team. Okay, well, that makes sense. That's on brand. <clears throat> now, how can, let, let's see, so have we, have we seen where the dinosaurs might be available? So, yeah, you found out yesterday where you could buy them. Yeah. Yeah. Dinosaur store? The dinosaur? Yep. Dinosaur. All right. Yeah, there is Pretty a, good. The merchant, Pretty good. The merchant prince, Ifan Talroa, has merchants throughout the city selling dinosaurs. All right, well, we don't have a lot of time. No. We need to get a dinosaur fast. Yeah. Okay, right. so I'm, I need to apportion some things. So you are talking to someone, is that right? I'm, uh, I'm doing reconnaissance, and uh, I'm going to dress Jim up super fancy. Okay, I like that. Strix, eh. this is what I need, mm -hmm. if possible. Okay. You tell me if it fits into your schedule. No guarantees. <laughs> <laughs> your responsibility, and, I, and this is a big one. <laughs> <laughs> dinosaur decor. Oh. I want a dinosaur that will intimidate. Yeah, yeah I can do that. Uh, and terrify. Ooh. But is also aerodynamic. Yes. Can I still make him tiny? We'll discuss it. If, oh. I, if I like what I see, I'll give you 50%. Yes. If, if she's going to make me tiny anyway, then Jim just goes and starts eating. <laughs> <laughs> like, he orders whatever pies they've got. He undoes a couple buttons. <laughs> you shook him down into like a sphere. Yeah. Sure. Uh, right here, so consider how this dinosaur can be made horrifying. All right, that's, that's perfect. Strix will start going around and collecting just whatever garbage she can. Okay. <laughs> so, and uh, just, you know, just stealing things from that no one wants. All right. As you follow up, uh, you can see that uh, her dinosaur is saddling up, sidling up next to a couple other dinosaurs that are being slowly ushered toward the starting point, which is this large arch on one side of the figure eight near the harbor and a bunch of people on the arch are looking down on the scene, and there are people on the rooftops looking down on the scene, parasols, colors, banners everywhere. You smell flowers. What do you do? <laughs> you step in a big pile of poop. Which, uh, that's the done thing these days. Yep. I collect it's, some of that. It's the dung thing. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Well, our work is done here. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be one of those games. <laughs> is this an I, all the time thing? Okay. I'm actually making a beeline uh, to, to this woman who I'm hoping to kind of maybe Yeah, we, we, yeah we know, Viari. But, but actually, then it, I stop dead in my tracks after stepping in the poop, and I think, you know how the, you ever heard the term ginger up a horse? Mm -hmm. Because they would get a ginger root? No. And they would. Oh, isn't that how they got Mr. Ed to talk? Yeah, except something, there has to, I want to find out how you juice a dinosaur. <laughs> There's got to be like dinosaur ginger slash, we're going to- You're a ginger, you could just- oh. <laughs> <laughs> What we need are performance enhancing drugs. For dinosaurs. For dinosaurs. If Will Wheaton were here, he'd do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's ice cold. Wow. <laughs> that is actually factually true. He could crawl up one. <laughs> I could make a potion or something. Else. So, but like, I am a man of the people. As sh schmoozing around, I'm like, I'm like, oh man, I heard so and so. This dinosaur had like a bad reaction. They were feeding it, um, um, and they go. Ginger root? Dino ginger uh, super race juice? And I go, like, yeah, that stuff that they bought. They bought at that super shady yet cheap and nearby. 
conveniently located. <laughs> and they're like, oh, Ahmed's shed of danger juice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm following. And I'm following. Shed of danger juice slash fabulous robes. <laughs> That's your one stop shop. <laughs> okay. Uh, any, do I have any luck uh, sleuthing this out? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not even a roll. <laughs> Rick. Ahmed's Danger Juice and Robe Shop, it's right there. <laughs> the, the, the person Favoritism. looks at me like I'm a fucking idiot, and I turn around <laughs> and it's right there. Uh, all right. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Things always work out for you, Timothy. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I, I want the drug that probably won't kill the dinosaur, is what I'm looking for. Okay. There's, there's, it will sort of... It would take a lot to kill the dinosaur. Right. Well, I mean, I've got a lot of money, and there's a lot... <laughs> There's a lot riding on this, literally. <laughs> and uh, so, like, at the base level, like, the minor dose is like it would just give it a boner. And then there's, like, <laughs> the, then it's, like, a Red Bull, and then there'd be, like, and then it's, like... Heroin. <laughs> heroin. I want one step below that. Okay. Done. Okay. <laughs> uh, I want to win the race. <laughs> Do I win? So <laughs> <20 guys>. <laughs> <laughs> How much does it, it cost me? I've, I, uh, probably about 50 gold. Okay. For everything. Oh, and, and uh, I need uh, to, to, I'm going to find a super fancy robe for Jim. Thank you. He'll throw that in for free. <laughs> now, is, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to catch hell if this is not very stylish. Um, um, you think it's pretty stylish. <laughs> 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 I, I know this. I, I'm fully confident that. Yeah. I, uh, okay, I'm out. While this is happening, I'm taking dung and just rubbing it on the dinosaur. <laughs> and it's just very right on, on whose dinosaur? The yeah. banana candy, right? Isn't that. Or are you going to do it on banana candy? I don't know. They didn't tell me what dinosaur, <clears> so I'm just rubbing dung on the dinosaur. He's just <laughs> running it around. Yeah. Like, you gave me a pass. I can't say no because the I'm rider, found The rider sees you spreading dung on his dinosaur and just starts to smack you the with <laughs> Just scuttling. Yeah. Here, no, no. Well, one of them I, now I says need to Jim get sucks one. and dung. I need to get one, and I'm going to bring Jim I want to go with Omen to buy banana candy. Or, or a dinosaur. It sounds like banana candy is a good crew. Yeah. I want to see if they've got some, if they've got some stock um, that exists here in town that maybe is just, you know, Performance adjacent. <laughs> I want I want banana candy. Yeah, okay. It's got uh, dung yeah. on it. You, you, can, <laughs> you can find you can find uh, Demetrodons, Hadrosaurs, Triceratops. There's a young Allosaurus, kind of nice. kind of small for Jim, but he could probably fit. Um, so, so so what? Listen, what do you like, dinosaur wise? There's an Ankylosaurus with a big mace tail that's Ooh. swinging it back and forth threateningly. I gotta go Triceratops. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. 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 Yep. That's a keeper. Yeah. All right, so here, I'm going to look at this Triceratops, and I'm going to find one that I really like, but I'm going to look like I don't like it very much. OK. <laughs> I would like to inspect this Triceratops just to check out its overall health. I want to check the gums. I want to stick my hand up there and get an idea what's going on. <laughs> I know all the right places to poke one of these dinosaurs. Sure, make an animal handling check. Oh, I will. <laughs> <laughs> 19. Woo! Putting it way right. up there. The Triceratops <laughs> does not put up a fuss as you prop, poke and prod it. And yeah, yeah. Stroke Assess. and rub it and <laughs> do the thing with the things. I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> right. You're told that uh, this brute doesn't have a name, but uh, he was, it took 18 hunters to finally bring him in. Wow. Oh. That's impressive. I like this. Yeah. Yeah. I like this. You could call yeah. him, does 18 do it for you? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. No, I, I like 18. Yeah. 18. 18. 18. 18. Coming in first place with 18. With 18. <laughs> exactly. No, I like, I, like, I like everything I'm seeing here, but again, Downcast face. Oh, uh, yeah. Angry mouth. Mm. 
Oh man, this is the one I want! Oh my god, it's so good! I want this one! I want this one! <laughs> Seriously though, can we have I will let you make a deception check not aided by Jim. <laughs> Deception. 20. Oh! Uh, yeah, so the owner will come over to you and just says, yeah, mighty fine beast. <laughs> yeah, for some, for some, this looks like a stew beast to me. <laughs> he run real fast. Yeah, right into the pot. No, I checked yeah. him out. He's super strong. God damn it. Shut your <laughs> fucking mouth. <laughs> okay. He says, well, if speed is what you like, I got a nice Allosaurus over here. Yeah, Sam. Uh, I, have, I, I have beef with that breed. <laughs> uh, By the way, is your friend constipated? I think so, yeah. <laughs> uh, listen, uh, I mean... Practically shitting himself over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm he just like... <laughs> He had a big lunch, <laughs> a really, a really big lunch, um, a really, really big lunch. He still he says, eating. I just oh. throw up. <laughs> oh. Oh. I want to put some in a jar. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's like you can get the jar, and it's like as soon as he's like, rrr, 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 he's like ah. <laughs> but it's, it's purple and sparkly. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, and then the, a dove comes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> So I, I, All right. yeah, I'm looking at it and I'm looking at the price. You know, I'm like a haggle. I'm like, uh, yeah. I don't know. So if you want to uh, haggle with him, because he was going to sell it to you for 600 a little bit up above market price. Yeah. But go ahead and, uh, ooh, gosh, let's say persuasion. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say. And I'm going to give you advantage, simply because this is Omen Dron's fort. Indeed, yeah. indeed. All right, now, uh, we're talking about persuasion at plus five. Let's see what we got here. Number one. I'm already sitting on the top. You like your second dice roll, no? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I know. It's a, I'll stay. All right. Uh, then he sort of, his eyes grow wide, and then he looks up at your friend, and then he looks at you, and he's like, oh, you came in on the big giant flying machine. Mm -hmm. You're amazing. Yes. <laughs> yeah, how much do you want for it? I give you cheap. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I reach around just like in my, in my, in my pouch, and... Um, I just pull out like a handful of gems and lint. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, lay it on the, I lay it on the on the stone and I say, I'll give you a ride in it. All right, he'll scoop all that stuff up except the lint, which Strix will swoop in and snatch it off. And uh, he says, it is yours, very fine animal. Excellent. I mean, it'll do. <laughs> All right. And Jim's up there, wee! <laughs> exactly. Now Strix is rubbing dung all over it. Yeah, exactly. Right. Now exactly. Here, no, I, I want her to rub dung on it, except for we're going to wash an 18 on the side. <laughs> so there's going to be a clean 18 on the side. Okay, and the rest of it is just caked in shit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put some sticks in it. It's caked in shit There's and whatever. There's sticks like what? jammed in there. Jim, too. while you're watching them do this, this other dinosaur you can see about a block away heading toward the races is adorned with these absolutely amazing stripes with stars. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, guys. <laughs> And the rider has kind of, uh, the saddle uh, he has or she has, has a rig that has kind of like this awning that comes over top of him so he stays in the shade. That's while just to catch the, the wind. Well, he'll probably take it down oh. when he races, but. 
I noticed that the other dinosaurs <laughs> are not covered in shit. <laughs> I mean, can we get some feathers or something? I just keep sticking sticks in there, like, eh. There's a bone. I put a bone in, you know. We got some cool you got dinosaurs. Some dinosaurs? <laughs> I got. You have real dinosaurs. I got a couple. I got a couple triceratopses. Thank you. So which one would you like? I like the big one. All right. Poseable. Aw. Nice. But here, so how can we how can we get a little bit of extra decor on a budget? Well, I mean, I can use. So I have this guy's self. Is my dinosaur at this point? I mean, the rider and the and the beast are really one. <laughs> I mean, the way I race, anyway. <laughs> uh, no, you don't think that spell will help the dinosaur. You would need something like a minor illusion or a prestidigitation. I mean, I, I got it all. I can do that. Yeah. Yeah. So I I kick you away. <laughs> hey, no, my, the dung looks nice. And, uh, and I, uh, a, a wave of my hand, and off of each of the, the three horns, I get these sort of trailing purple illusory banners that are flying past nice. me. I immediately use my prestidigitation to change it to just smelly clouds. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's like fart clouds. It's just like... Can I dispel magic here? I dispel it. <laughs> Yeah, whatever. I have that spell too. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna use silent image to make his triceratops just like look even more covered in poop. <laughs> All right, it's looking pretty rancid. Yeah. I show up with the robe, which I'm very confident in. Yes. <laughs> Jim. Ooh. Floom. I am impressed. This is beautiful. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um. I'm gonna go make book. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> the, the odds on our shit dinosaur have to be lousy. <laughs> <laughs> when your team finally strides the dinosaur out to the back of the herd that's congregating around this arch, there is a lot of chortles and turned up noses. <laughs> Uh, disgusted looks. <laughs> I'm just like, hey! <laughs> I have, as the sum total of all my years, stealing when no one in Ack Inc. is looking, I think about 320 gold pieces. Okay. What sort of odds are there against the dinosaur I can only imagine as being named something like, uh, referred to as... Dung magnet. <laughs> dung, dung teen? Uh, eight, 18, uh, no, I got nothing. I got nothing for the... the, yeah. the, the Shit the... storm. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming in number one with number two. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Thank you, good night. <laughs> No, but even though it's covered in shit, Jim is still like waving. I've got the <laughs> fancy cape on. It's, Doves it's, are flying. Oh, yeah. Late entry, obviously ridden by a madman. Yeah. Like, pooped. <laughs> yeah, one to ten odds. One to ten. Wow. Nothing, I, is, nothing is lower than that. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to bet 300 gold pieces. On, like, okay. All of my worldly wealth. Enough for like a good night of drinking when I lose. That's all I'm keeping. Yeah. <clears throat> all right, make a record of that. Anyone else dropping some coin? I don't uh, think I have money. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. I don't, I don't 100% know about money. You just give the bookie a rat. Yeah. <laughs> <partially> <laughs> <chewed>. <laughs> she sees people going up and giving him things. Yeah. I was like, you have yeah. this, okay, bye. If she wins, though, she expects 10 rats. <laughs> I do. I do. I really do. Skinned, no good. Whole rats. <laughs> you took one bite out of it, you expect him to take 10 bites out. <laughs> that's, how, that's how we work in the hive. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, as the racers are getting ready um, and announcers are shouting things, in the and it's hard to even understand what they're saying. Yeah. You have any other business you guys want to take care of? 
Uh, did no. you want to do anything with uh, How her? much is, is this like, like, is like, how much is this drug? How big is it? It's probably about the size of an umbrella stand. And is it like a big root? I, I, I just automatically assume I have to put it up this thing's butt. I, that's how it, I, yeah. I know enough. It's like a animals. giant cornucopia. <laughs> <laughs> I would just like to, to try and calm him a little bit as you, as you do this. You know, I was going to try to do this kind of sneakily, and now I'm realizing that that was not a good plan. No, dude, you're going to have to put... <laughs> no, no, here's the fact of the matter, dude. You're not going to be able to do it sneakily. Like, you're going to have to put your fucking shoulder into this thing. <laughs> like, you're going to need help. I'm trying to give the dinosaur some wine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Uh, actually, I, I think it through. Do I, do I feed this to the dinosaur? Does, did I ask? Is this which end? <laughs> Uh, Which end does this go? You know what? No, no. I split, me, it, I split it in half. Okay. <laughs> Cover all the bases. And I'm like, like, Jim, I got a treat for your dinosaur. <laughs> Here you go. All right, feed yeah, him it this. Bobbles that right down. Can I identify what this is? <laughs> uh, yeah, just make a, let's say, a intelligence nature check. All right, cool. Ooh. I also have a lot, of, I have a lot of nature, so that's plus seven to that, so, you know, that's like 18, 19, 20. Yep, you so know long. exactly what it is. <laughs> oh, I like your math. <laughs> yeah, it's... Strix is bad at math. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's some sort of weird drug thing. Oh. <laughs> is it gonna, wow. is, the, is the dinosaur going to projectile out of one of the ends? Maybe. Oh. <laughs> it could be both. All right. I'm not going to say anything, and I'm going to position Jim towards the end that's going to projectile. <laughs> By the way, this is the worst fucking plan I have ever. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. I'm just putting that out there. No, this no. is going to be hard to top. Omen, the entire purpose of this has already been satisfied, which is that Jim is legit dying. And this is what he wanted. I'm really happy right now. <laughs> yeah. People are taking pictures of me with the dinosaur. I don't realize that they hate me or that, they, that they're laughing. Um, You're giving interviews? Yeah. <laughs> and then you, you got the one end in. Well, I figure I should wait until, like, immediately before the race starts. Wait, okay. like, wait till ignition? Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're at that moment now. There's a palpable energy in the crowd. Everybody is cheering and roaring. Yeah. Musicians. No. 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 <laughs> They're cheering for you. Can't you hear it? Just lift the tail. Set your feet. Like, really just... You've, you've sort of moved your dinosaur kind of in the middle of the pack, so you're stinking up the entire area. <laughs> Strix is so cool. All the other dinosaurs are starting like, to make strange noises. <laughs> get All part uneasy. of the plan. I was here for five minutes. And then and you see uh, the banana candy rider uh, over your right shoulder, and she looks at you and she says, prepare to be. Uh, I give her a wink and uh, make a little dove appear that flies over towards her and shits on her. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I... Make an attack roll for your dove. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh. Omen, oh, somehow. <laughs> Uh, some, somehow, Omen. Oh, no. It drips down to your eyebrow. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I understand that this is natural sunscreen. Uh. I just, I make sure it gets absorbed. Uh. All right. It's like whatever the shit version of lemonade is. I, yeah. I'm like, oh, that's smart. That yeah. Works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 All right. Now you've got to make some sort of check. What? Okay, I need a little help from the audience here. What's Slide of hand. No, no, I was just <laughs> 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 
I this stand. is the reverse of picking a pocket. Yeah? Yes, you're right. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I don't need your help. Patrick's done this before, apparently. <laughs> All right, sleight of hand it is. Let's see it happen. You know how when you're picking a pocket, you kind of bump into the person you pretend it was an accident? Mm -hmm. it's, it's the bump and stumble? Yeah. I do, I do that to accept I'm carrying like a, a, a three, foot, three foot long root vegetable. Right, and you're also kind of have to get under its tail because yeah. the big, big thumpy tail coming yeah, out of yeah. it. So yeah. You're, Right before I do make a point of saying, kind of loudly, I say, oops. <laughs> <laughs> I tripped into your dinosaur's asshole. <laughs> this is, that legally absolves me from any... Uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. recognized. <laughs> put, put the gut, put it in the ass. I'm, trying, I'm trying to imagine how 14-year-old me would imagine this moment of my life. <laughs> if it makes you feel better, they start playing horns. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's right, okay. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I do have plus 13 to sleight of hand. <laughs> Seventeen. Plus thirteen? Wow. Okay. That's a lot. That's how VRE do. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is a very difficult task, but as the horns sound, everybody charges forth, Jim. You're like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I... Oh. Yeah, yeah. Off you go. Okay. And you get caught in the contractions. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. The contract. <laughs> it's just like swallowing. Uh, Little by no. <laughs> Real bad. This is going in the intern training video. Yeah. <laughs> There's going to be some synthesized sacks over this part of the video. Oh no. <laughs> Strix, for the first time today, you really miss your other party. <laughs> you know, yeah, dinosaur cloaca times were not something we ever, like, <laughs> participated in. So, yeah. All right. Uh, so, I would like, first of all, I'm going to need your other help here. I'm going to give a couple other dinosaurs to you other players. So, pass that one down to Holly. She'll be the Allosaurus. Oh, shit. <gasps> I like that. Pass that one to Omen. Ooh. That will be. It's got big. And teeth. oh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. That What's box of on? dinosaurs is awesome. It's pretty Hell great. Yeah, it is. I'm also, feeling it. Do, do, do. They have we'll do the legs. blue one yeah. for you, Patrick. Mm. All right. So, the way the race works is pretty simple. It's abstract. So you got to get to 300, and you do that by making animal handling checks. And you, Holly, mm. are going to play Banana Candy. Yes. And That's the one that I wrote Jim Sucks on. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to play Oob Tao's favorite. Mm, I love it. Uh, which is actually the one with the, uh, the Wanty woman on it. I, nice, Oob. I screwed up earlier. Yep. And then you'll play Nasty Boy. Ooh. Nasty Boy. <laughs> Miss All right. Jackson, if you're nasty. Boy spelled so B -O I would like everybody yeah. to make animal handling checks. For the three of you, it's just a straight D20 roll. All right. I've already got the modifier in uh -oh. front of me. I start slow. Uh, 13. All right. So um, for your tr uh, Triceratops, that is not enough. So for all intents and purposes, you are making headway, you're making ground, but you don't get any points toward 300. Okay. How did you do, Holly? I got a six. All right, neither do you. Oh. 17. All right. You are great. Are great. <laughs> you move uh, 50. What? So, 
You are now 50 toward your goal of 300. I love it. I'll write that what down. What did you do? Uh, 11. All right. Now, that is not enough. Yeah. OK. Shit. I will roll with the others. OK. So Uptau's favorite and Big Charges Honker ahead. and uh, several others bolt ahead. Now, as you are running, Jim, yes. you can see that on one side of you is the harbor going by. Okay. On the other side are houses and buildings that sort of build up and up and up to a great wall behind which is the, above which is the noble district. And there are all kinds of people down above you, or up above you, throwing confetti and flower petals and stuff down. I'm the loving maze. it. Yeah, this is all great. Uh, you sort of round your first corner, you think you're doing great, you look behind you and there's nobody behind you. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, except, except this guy, right? I mean, do I, do I know well, the you, extra you, you weight? Sen you sense a drag, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> I <laughs> and I would like you to make a strength athletics check. <laughs> this is so gross. Pull yourself out. <laughs> uh, athletics, okay. Uh, oh, oh, that's, is that a cock Jack. die? That's Jack. Uh, no. Uh, it's pretty. No, it's pretty flat. It's. <laughs> I can't even see it, and I know it's Jack die. <laughs> <laughs> I can just tell. Well, what's the total? Yeah, it sounds like it's low. It's yeah. Okay, yeah, it's settling on a three. So it's three, I got 12. Okay, you are getting farther in. Oh, no. <laughs> but, but also, it but. naturally follows that the root is also... Yes. 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 Do I get any kind of bonus for that root? Uh, it hasn't kicked in yet. Okay. Do oh. I know Viari is back there? Have I, rec have I noticed him? I would think not. You're not <laughs> screaming, or...? I would like to make a stealth check. <laughs> <laughs> You're so Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead, and you can make a perception check. You have to equal Oops. or beat his stealth check. Six. Eleven. All right. I don't know he's back there. Yeah. The tail's in the way. Yeah, and I'm loving it. All the confetti falling. Yes, all the attention. All right, let's do the next roll. Everybody roll for animal handling. Ooh. 14. That's the magic number. Ooh. All right, since you're riding a Triceratops, you have 50 toward your total of 300. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like that. Yep. Thank That's you. The How are you uh, 14 as well. Okay, for Allosaurus, that's not enough. They're no. really tricky animals to control, but that's okay. And how about you, Uptau's favorite? Uh, I've got uh, 15 on dice. Okay, you get another 50. I love it. All right. 16? 16 is enough. You get 50. All right. And now I'm going to tell you another aspect of the rule is you can whip your beast to make it go even faster, Jim, if you so wish. But you think, being animal handling expert that you are, were it to not like that and rebel against you, who knows? Who knows? It's a uh, risk. The DC will be higher, but you'll go faster. I, I'm not going to whip this dinosaur. I, I reach down, and I, I place my hand next to his little eye, <laughs> and I whisper. They have ears, right? Yeah, they're like holes. Yeah. I whisper into his hole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sensing a theme. Yeah, uh, we got this 18, we can do it. All right. Are you gonna like cast a magical spell? Like, No, it's just honest to God, honest I love this God. dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> and I believe in us. This All right. is like some Atreyu, like, okay. right? <laughs> Make Falcor. another roll. He's my Falcor. This is animal handling? Yep. Oh, Jesus. 19, 15. You, yeah. 23. You. Okay, yes. Add another 50. Oh. Another 50? Yep. Handle those beasts. How'd the rest of you do on your animal handling? Uh, do I get a chance to get out of its butt before the next round? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Make another strength athletics check. I, I can grab onto him with my broom, too, and just, like, help. Are you, are oh. you flying after them? Yeah, I mean, oh, okay. I've been flying after the dinosaur, I'm assuming. Yep, all right. 23. You extricate yourself. Okay. okay. I just grab onto him and then he flies out. Yeah. Uh, Gross. yeah. <laughs> Would it disqualify Jim if I interfered with the other dinosaurs? 
they're way the hell ahead. Mm. <laughs> you do have access to a broom trash witch. Drop me on who's ever in front, but look, make it look like an accident. I'm not that strong. <laughs> <laughs> Just drag him fast through the street. Uh, I can try. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll All right, uh, you know that your broom is only magically prepared for one? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll just try and toss him. Like, woo! Okay. If it doesn't work, like, I mean, he told me what to do. I can't tell these people no. All right, so you hop onto her broom. Okay. Uh, and immediately you can see it, it begins to falter and struggle, <laughs> and then she just sort of flicks you. <laughs> uh, I will leap like a nimble, non-bard, non-elf. All right. Well, I have good news for you. Strung across the streets. <laughs> oh, yeah! From building to building are giant paper chandeliers. <laughs> I set you up, fam. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I will need you to make an acrobatics check to swing from paper chandelier to paper chandelier. Twenty-four. Ouch. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> so as you get flicked, you grab onto the first chandelier and you swing on that, and as you do, it literally comes apart in your hands, but not before you fly off and grab the next one, and it comes apart in your hands, and so on and so on, until you land on banana candy. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> really loud, so every... Whoa! <laughs> Your girlfriend, who's on Uptal's favorite, is right next to you. Okay. <laughs> she just gives you a weird double take. <laughs> All right. Now you know if you're, they can't. Technically, you shouldn't, this rider who's on with you is now turning to you and smacking you with his whip. Um, I, I would... Uh... Stab him. <laughs> <laughs> you him. are right behind him. So he's just kind of doing it over his shoulder. I was like, oh, oh, I'm, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm, uh, but I will pick his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Side of hand. Ooh. I like this. 28. All right. You snatch a, a dinosaur hide leather pouch out of his pocket. Ooh. Bundled up with some string. And, uh, and I go, is, I'm sorry, I, is this yours? <laughs> he reaches for it. And then I, I drop it. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> and then I push him a little bit after it. <laughs> But then I grab him, like, oh, look out, look out! And oh, man, you were left back at the start. But you see the crowd is starting to migrate from the starting place into the heart of the city to watch... Oh, to catch the middle of yes, the race. Yes, exactly. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I follow right along. Excellent. Uh, make a perception check. Absolutely. 18. Okay. You know as you're moving along that you are being watched and followed by two creatures that basically combine the features of a man and a cat. They are like, uh, cat, uh, cat people. Shut up. <laughs> I'm sorry. A, a mat, if you will. Yeah. Uh, you can see I'm that they're... I'm sorry, that was too much. You were really <laughs> mad about the cat man thing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they're like dressed like, like a Shaza, or like a cat, not a tiger. They're they're humanoids with fur covering their flesh, uh, claws for hands, and cat-like heads. Uh, one of it's them some is wearing anime shit. One of the, yes, one of them is wearing. They're like furries. Yeah. One of them is wearing <laughs> a jaunty hat uh, with a wide brim, and it carries a lute, like a an instrument. Yeah. 
Uh, you can see that the other one is also dressed colorfully with uh, colorful pantaloons and has a, uh, straps over his shoulders with a drum. These guys must go through <coughs> loots. I mean, if the claws just, <laughs> like, every time just <laughs> bang. No, dude, this, it, this is like a Greek tragedy. Give me a new loot. But exactly. they're clearly watching you. Oh, exactly. So, but, but, but they're walking along with the crowd? They're trying to hide among the crowd as they trail you by, you know, 10, 15 feet. Exactly. I'm just going to approach them directly. Just turn okay. around and just say, just, just walk right up and say, if you want to surveil uh, a cleric of luck, you're going to have to do a much better job. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Roll initiative, yeah. All right. Roll initiative. <laughs> Just Omen? <laughs> What's that? Just Omen? Just Omen. Okay. Eight. Yeah. All right. Okay, one of them smashes you over the head with his loot. Oh. <laughs> he didn't like playing that much. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, these dice are great, but they're hard to read. So that's oh, a yeah. 23. Oh, yeah. Is this the first time you're using your Annihilation dice? That's right. Awesome. My first Annihilation die attack roll. And as he bashes you over the head with the loot, he says, prepare to be annihilated. Sorry. Prepare to be yeah. annihilated! You did your best. No, he doesn't. Uh, and as he smashes you over the head, he hits a 23. That's pretty high, yeah. Okay, he does. He breaks it over your head, and it's just sort of sitting there around your neck like a noose, and you take one point of damage. <laughs> and then he runs away. Wow. Now, you could take an attack of opportunity against him, because he attacked and then fled. Okay. And this is a melee attack, right? Yep. A melee attack. Can I see if I see this as well? No, brain? you've gone off, unfortunately. Oh, I've flown on your away. <laughs> uh, that's not gonna fly with me. Yeah. <laughs> that's a 26. Okay, that hits. Are you just bashing him with your mace right here in the crowd? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> 10. All right. <laughs> whoops. Yeah, yeah. Whoops. Whoa, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> That's the get out of jail free yeah. card. All right. Um, his buddy, uh, it looks like he's going to clock you with his drum and then just sort of throws the drum away <laughs> and runs away from you instead, disengaging from you so as not to provoke an attack of opportunity. Good call. And he sort of helps pick his friend up off the ground, and they start to skedaddle through the crowds, which are thinning out because they're all going now in the opposite direction toward the race. I'll let them go. OK. They, they scurry off like rodents. Fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Holly, as you're zooming along with your broom, going sort of underneath arches, yeah. and uh, you, can easily catch, you can easily keep pace with the, the dinosaurs. No problem there. All right. I'm, I'm not going to cast any spells because I don't want to break the rules. All right. No. You've got a shove check coming. That's a strength athletics check. I'm giving you advantage on the check because of your little ploy. Oh, that's much better. Yeah. Um, 17 plus, it's athletics. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 26. All right. Wow. Over he goes. <laughs> Crash it. <laughs> Explosion. I make, I make a big, a big, a big show. So, oh, and I try to grab him, but I don't. <laughs> All right. Although, like, are, is anyone else going to run? Is there like a dinosaur? Is he going to get squished by another dinosaur right behind us? It's a little late to be thinking about that. <laughs> I, I do think of it exactly at this moment. I'm like, oh, like, no. Oh, no. And then I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it, it really adds some verisimilitude to the performance. Yes. Yeah. You see some remarkably dexterous other dinosaurs behind you just sort of jump over him. Wow. Uh, but somehow, as he tumbles there in the dust on the road, he does not end up getting squished. Okay. Nice. You are moral in retrospect. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Viari's t-shirt says. That's right. Yes. 
And then as he sort of picks himself up and dusts himself off and sees his dinosaur gone now and standing there alone in the street with people cheering him, the remains of a paper chandelier just sort of fall <laughs> down around him. <laughs> um, I would like to... Th uh, I, I, actually, that's my one check, I'm assuming. That's so. it, yes. Jim, you can see that Viari is now on banana candy. What the hell, man? <laughs> oh. 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 I got you. And the rider who was on there previously skedaddles out of the way before you trundle up. Okay. And make another check, yep. everybody, animal handling. Okay. 18. Ooh. Okay, that puts you 50 more toward your goal. Yep. How did you do? Uh, nine. Banana candy's real slow. Yeah, nope. <laughs> uh, we're talking about 11 base. Nope. Uh, three. Okay. <laughs> What's a dinosaur? <laughs> As it races through the main intersection of Fort Nines Aru, the crowds, Jim, are the hugest crowds you've ever seen, and they are just all cheering for you. You are such a... As you... <laughs> exactly. As you pass under an arch... <laughs> A couple kids throw wreaths down a pond, and they just happen to land right on the horns of oh, nice. the Ceratops. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and now you're sort of in the last. Has the, has the root kicked in yet? Yes. Okay, and I, I noticed something. Yes, a kick. Under the hood. <laughs> something yeah. under the hood, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. He's got a little more pep in his step. Yeah. This guy sees his imaginary girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, he's chasing after it. He's going to get some. All right. So make another ha animal handling check. Okay. As you oh, quickly geez, start. Yeah. The game. 23. Oh. Okay. You, with your extra juice, um, go 100. Oh! Jesus, dude. So are, is that 200 for you? 250. Good boy. Right. I can see the finish line. Yes. How did you do? Ah. Uh, three. <laughs> oh. All right, you blow past Ubtau's favorite. Oh, yeah. Three? Oh, my gosh, no. Okay, so, nasty boy. Fourteen. Okay, that one gets 50. Yep. And you're on banana candy, so, Viari, what would you like to do? I'm going to make a big show of, like, I'm going to, I owe it to this guy to win the race for him, right? <laughs> No, you owe it to yourself because you bet against the goddamn company. <laughs> and so I... No, no, I bet on... Yeah, he bet on me. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I grab the reins. Yeah. And I... Real, uh, it's so obvious to everyone watching that I'm really trying to make it up to this poor guy who fell off the dinosaur. But I... I I make a shit mess of this, and accidentally this dinosaur steers into... The crowd. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the one right next to me, with it, uh, the, the snake lady. Okay, lady was on. all right. So Oops. just make an animal handling check to guide the dinosaur in the way you want it to go. Oh, I'm super good at this. <laughs> Here it goes. Oh! Here, don't worry, I can help. Oh no! It's a dinosaur! <laughs> so, Jim? Yes. You blow between Banana Candy and Uptow's favorite, and then as you look behind you, Banana Candy just veers into <laughs> Uptow's favorite. They collide <laughs> with a huge thundering sound. And both dinosaurs just topple over. Yeah. I love it. What would you like to do as you feel the weight shifting and you going into this mass of dinosaur I need, flesh? I need to leap and, and sweep her off the dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> and, and if I can't land on my feet, I at least need to toss her into something soft. Okay. Like a merchant. <laughs> 
If you try to toss her, Strix is going to try and just hit her and be like, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Run her through with the broom. Yeah. I think that's the way we need to go. All right. So, yes, you, you yank her off the saddle. You throw her to the side. You see this um, awning made out of pond leaves over this merchant stall that's stuffed with fruit. Very, it looks very soft and cushy. Pillow fruit. Pillow fruit. <laughs> yes. You hurl her off in that direction. Strix, you're barreling in. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to knock right. her into, like, the brick. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right next to the merchant stall. No, the sword is, merchant. <laughs> is, this, is this statue of this tiger <laughs> with its claws up. Perfect. Um, sort of rearing off the corner of a building. Looks like it's all kinds of sharp. Yeah, that, she's going right into that. All right, so make an attack roll. <laughs> I, I got a 10. All right. <laughs> Uh, this isn't a ranged attack. This is actually. I'm going to say it's a shove. So let's go with a strength athletics instead. You yeah, can reroll. Like I have that. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still a ten. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, now make a dexterity <sighs> check. It's a dexterity saving throw. Of course. <laughs> oh, it's an eleven. Oh wait. Okay. I plus, I plus so one, you so go 12. in to hit her. You don't. She lands in the awning and then pot onto the pillow fruit, and then oh. the, the cart seems to collapse under the weight of her, uh, under the weight of her and her armor and whatnot. And the palm fronds just cave in, and she's just completely buried. <laughs> Do you want to try to land, like on your feet? Um. I, I, would, I would like to land, and then I'll, I'll help her up. Oh, OK. So just beside her, yeah. and then pull her out. I okay. feel bad about that. You can do that. You aren't able to pull up in time. <laughs> oh, no. If, now, if I, see, if I see Strix. She disappears <laughs> through a window. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, come on. Into an estate. Can I make a perception check to see if I notice that? <laughs> sure. Eight. No. All right. <laughs> you don't. I Sorry. laugh, but I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> so Strix, you're suddenly now weaving through this uh, oh. plush palatial estate, going through <laughs> hallways and uh, <laughs> across staircases. I'm gonna throw the violin. Servants are just like getting thrown out of the way as they see you whipping down on this broom. Uh, make a, oh, let's call it a wisdom survival check to navigate through the interior right, of this okay. house. All right, okay, all right, sure. Yeah. Oh. Hey. Yeah, and I got, I've, I've got survival, so that's plus four, so, so 20. All right, yes, you're able to roar around. Uh, you go around a corner, you br kind of bust through a set of double doors into this palatial suite with this huge open balcony overlooking the bay. And it's just sort of got gossamer blue curtains hanging in front of it, and you just a poof right out through those. I want there to be like a strict shaped like, <laughs> hole in the curtains. So with a broom and everything. Like yeah, you sort of leave a sort of a burnt little hole. Perfect, yeah. yeah. Uh, just through the drapes as you blow through. Uh, and out over the bay. Great. I've ruined these rich people's nice things. Yep. <laughs> cool. All right. Take that. But no harm done. Great. Yep. You see Jim whip past, and a bunch of other dinosaurs <laughs> go as well. Oh, yeah, man, yeah. look, look, I'm winning. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My base is up on the shoulder. Yep. Wave. No sign of Viari, no sign of Strix. It's fine. All right. <laughs> This day isn't about them. That's right. <laughs> yeah. They can't take this from you. No. Make your, hopefully, last check. Come on. Uh-oh. Oh. James. Oh. It's an 11. James. All right. I was looking at Omen. I'm like, oh, look at me! <laughs> All right. Uh, you, your uh, beast is just going insane. Just, yeah. But you're having trouble controlling it, and it's kind of veering off. OK. So its ardor yes. has reached a level. Yeah, and it's mistaking things for it, dinosaurs. other things. Understood. He's so tripping balls. It veers <laughs> off and then just starts to plow through some baskets of stuff, sending things flying up but, in the air. But 
But it's still forward momentum, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's all forward momentum. It's just he's sort of gone off the, onto the sidewalk, basically, yeah. and is now running down the sidewalk, <laughs> smashing into things. Okay. I'm fine with that. I yep. can get this back on track. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yes, Jim. Yeah. Uh, a kid on a balcony overhead hurls a big melon down at. What? You. Little shit. So. <laughs> He crit you. <laughs> what? Oh, no! <laughs> Good job, kid. Good job. So as you're trying to steer back on, <laughs> you can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This will only increase the glory of your victory. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, and just make a roll for a big, uh, sorry, a nasty boy for me. Nasty boy. 11. All right. Nasty boy is the Allosaurus. That's Don't mean enough. Don't mean a thing. Nope. Yeah, nasty boy is not going to make it. All right, and now I have to make it for big honker. <laughs> that is another crit. Ah. <laughs> what? All right. All right. The wheels came off, or yeah. they would if it had been a traditional. Yep. The legs came off. Yeah. All right, so you don't know where you're going exactly. What would no. you like to do? Uh, you got your hands on the reins. This is, you know what? The blast shield is down. I wrap, I just lean down, wrap my arms around the neck, and I say, take me home, baby. <laughs> Here it comes. This has got to be it. 18. All right. Fucking teen. That that I'm I I'm amazed. It's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Strix, as you come whirling around, you see the race play out below you. Amazingly, Jim is neck and neck with the young Tyrannosaurus known as Big Honker. Oh. But he's got a melon on his head. <laughs> And he seems to have fallen it. out of his, his saddle onto oh. the creature's head oh, and just sort of grabbing it by the horns and hanging on there. This is really sad. Do you want Beautiful. to do anything? Because you're... I he, feel bad. He might win, but it's neck and neck. I feel really bad, and I'm pretty sure that my demonic contract is forcing me to make him win. <laughs> so... I, <laughs> I'm going to uh, Misty step onto the dinosaur that Jim is on and try and steer him. Oh. Oh. Okay. It's interesting. All right. Hmm. Uh, I can, well, I can, I can also ride my broom down and try and steer no, him. No, no, no. Do your shit. This is, this is banging. All right. Yes. <laughs> so you misty step off your broom. And I'm just like, please don't touch me. And then I just hold on to the reins. <laughs> now, your broom is actually a broom of animated attack. Do you oh, want to command right. it to do anything? Yeah, go leave? tell it to attack Big Honker like, right in the face. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Just like... So as you leap off, I'm going to have you make a, oh God, uh, let's say an acrobatics check to land in the saddle. Okay. Or to stay in the saddle once you uh, misty step onto it. Okay. Because this is a rampaging beast. Oh, great. Oops. 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 Oh, that's not too bad. It's a thir uh, 13. That 15 is good enough. 13. It's 13. Okay. Well, you hang on. Okay. You've got the reins. <laughs> And then your broom starts to whack Big Honker in the face. <laughs> yes. Oh, on the sensitive nose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. And that puts you over the top, right? That was 300 for me. Yep. All right. So you blow past Big Honker in the final seconds, and ta you hear crowds, adulation. <laughs> <roaring>. <laughs> the only reason you know that you won is because they start saying, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, I, I pull the melon off, yeah. and I'm, I'm looking around, and I see Strix there, and I, I want to kick her off of the dinosaur. <laughs> All right. I'm like, that Strix wins! <laughs> <laughs> no! No! This is my day! <laughs> Oh, man, you see 
as you come up to this scene, <laughs> all the glory and whatnot, you sort of expected things to end disastrously. They didn't. But they're at each other's throats. I'm choking her. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 nope, no. Nope, I turn into a cloud. No, no. I'm a cloud now. <laughs> no! <laughs> no. I, I still won. Viari, you are left in the dust. Mm -hmm. uh, as you uh, pick her up, she's disoriented and she pulls her helmet off and her black hair flows down over her shoulders. Uh, and she looks at you with those snaky eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so hot. We all remember that song. Yeah. I, uh... And then you make out. <laughs> uh. Uh. A fork tongue. It's like two tongues. It's basically two tongues. That's yeah. fair, yeah. Sound good? Yeah, that does. <laughs> <laughs> but she's really cold. Oh, Make yeah. Make a saving throw. <laughs> oh, no! That poison! Constitution, huh? I bet I'm super good at that. Well. Uh, as you kiss her and she peels away, uh, you, there's something sweet on your lips. Oh, yes. Mm. <laughs> yeah. And then, fuck. That's, it's in, just give me a sec. Yeah. <laughs> this is where it starts. <laughs> this is about a little kiss, boy. <laughs> this, is, this is the ante. Yes. And then you feel sort of delirious and begin to stagger around. It's the most magical kiss you've ever had. Well, I, I'm assuming she feels the same way. <laughs> uh, she's all becoming a blur. Oh, wow. Nice. Yes. <laughs> and, and then you kind of drop to your knees and then just face plant into the dirt. <laughs> what do you have on you? Oh, no. What? What did you have on you? Previously. Previously. Previously, I have, I have the book that I got from the guy that I traded, I gave right. him my golem gems. And How's your yes. dagger? The, the apocalypse the, the dagger? Apocalypse. I, thanks, thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, yes, I have the apocalypse dagger. I do have the a plus one sword as well. <laughs> And 20 gold pieces. Well, right, you're drinking money. Yep. And the dinosaur hide bag that you stole from. No, I dropped that. Oh, that's right, now. never yeah. mind. Now, I would also like to say that I am covered to the shoulder in effluvium. <laughs> <laughs> and any, any truly classy snake woman would probably be loath to frisk me too thoroughly. That's fair, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, listen, Strix, get used to this shit. <laughs> Omen? Yeah? Three of your party members are accounted for. The good ones. <laughs> so, just to be clear, like, is there a trophy? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, I uh, immediately grab it. No, it's who was on it the longest, I think is fair. Yeah, basically a group of um, uh, mostly naked, with the exception of loincloths, men and women come out carrying on a palanquin, this tall, ornately carved, gem-inlaid wooden trophy. Wow. And they present it to me. They are coming in your general direction. I go right up no, to them. No, I won. No, I push her. <laughs> They're no, fighting like, all the way up to the trophy. I misty stepped the I trophy. I want to make a strength check. All right. You're both grabbing onto the trophy. Make strength checks. <laughs> 17. Yeah, I got a five. <laughs> <laughs> winner! I'm a winner! Jim, you hold that trophy up. It's big. It's I'm down. jumping at it like, no! no. <laughs> <laughs> Your broom comes back to you. Oh, good. I cry on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, they seem distracted, Omen. Good, 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 good. I look around for that handsome devil, uh, Mr. Dunstucker. Mm -hmm. uh, do, I, do I see him anywhere around here? No. Hmm. 
<laughs> I, I say, Jim, um, Viare was with you after a fashion. I saw him, yeah. Um, do you know where he went after that? I saw him tackle the snake lady, and then I was gone, I winning. Hit, I hit the snake lady. I just okay. I wanted to hurt her because she was bad. Well, we know the general area of town where we last saw him, I assume. You saw, last you saw, he went, he crashed his dinosaur. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I, say, I need you to take me to that place. Obviously, the, the trophy can come with us. I assume I have some winner's circle ceremonial stuff to take care of first. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> they don't just give you a trophy and then everybody yes. leaves. I mean, no. There's there's music and there's, there's signing autographs, signing autographs and kids to. Oh yeah, where is it? I'm kissing kids. babies. Yeah, where they, they where? bring you flowers. You get I'm all loving these it. Mountains of flowers. I was like, toys. Jim, 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 <laughs> Jim, Jim, Jim. Where? Uh, where? Yeah, yeah. I, I can give you a cross street. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do that. Okay. I'm just standing there going, I won too. <laughs> <laughs> oh. mm. uh, I'm going to try to retrace this. Uh, it, sounds like, it sounds like a, a cart, a, a, a row of um, uh, shops got wrecked or something like yes. that. I mean, this is it doesn't take you long to find the scene yeah. of the accident. The crime. Yes. And you can see that they're tending to the dinosaurs and getting them out of the situation that they're in, trying to pull them out of some wreckage. Disentangle yeah. them. Yeah, disentangle them and not paying any attention to the fellow lying face down in the dirt <laughs> by a wrecked uh, fruit stand. Hmm. Well, I'll flip him over. Am yeah. I wearing any clothes at all at this point? <laughs> 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 it would be funny if I said no, but you probably are, yes. Okay. Um, it looks like he's breathing, but he's unconscious. And you can see, it looks like he's been frisked. He has a big smile on his face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dust, dust covering his smiley face. Okay. Uh, if he's breathing for now, I'm going to throw him over my shoulder and bring him back to the winner's circle. Okay. <laughs> I assume I'm at some kind of feast by now. <laughs> as, you, as you pick him up to throw him over your shoulder, you can see that's enough of a jostle now to kind of sort of wake you. He's really, <laughs> really groggy. Yeah. And he smells real bad. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I make the best of it. Uh, I just need to get all the people who are in the party in one contiguous locale. Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> you come, you're there getting all the adulation. Strix, you're off to the side, and people are avoiding you. Aww. And kids are actually scared of you. Aww, A couple of them I go won. by, and they're like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm doing that too, so it's fine. Okay. <laughs> uh, and you see Omen come back with what looks like a drunk uh -oh. Viari. He's staggering around. His noodle legs can barely keep him up. Yeah. I come up to Jim, and I just, I just drop him off my shoulder. So, yeah, he won too at something. <laughs> <laughs> is there a fountain around? Yes, there is a big carved fountain here you can dunk your head in. Splash. <laughs> <laughs> he just careens into the fountain. <laughs> and now I, his legs are just sort of sticking up out of it. I make sure that he does not drown himself. That seems to... Lift his head up. Yeah. <laughs> Wake you up. You're like, pfft, your head gets thrown out of the water. You shake your hair. I like to think that without even touching, I, I know exactly what's missing. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you've lost your gold and you've lost your apocalypse dagger. Oh, oh. no! Are you going to tell us that? <laughs> In the interest of fair play, I did also make that bet. And I probably had either tickets or chits or whatever. Oh, yeah, that's gone. <sighs> Why? Why would you? Oh. Yeah, I've got to respect narrative. Don't you think they keep track of that there? I'm sure that it's written down. Even, even the one that I habitually tucked right in the cod. Boop. <laughs> That's okay because it means she looked there. <laughs> That's still a victory. 
No, we need to get back to this betting place before she collects your money. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. That's smart. They come up out of the water. The betting chips. Yep. <laughs> right. Again, over the shoulder. Um, not, a, not like carried like a baby or like a drunken person, but like arm over the shoulder in a band of brothers, you know, type scenario. Uh, I, I helped take him to the. I helped take him back to the place he had made the bets. Okay. He's trying to direct me. It sucks. Along the way, I'm going in and getting free drinks <laughs> at every single tavern along the way. <laughs> and you, Strix? I'm just sweeping my broom on the ground. It's so sad. It's like, but I won too. <laughs> <laughs> I miss, miss my party. He was nice to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, as you guys make your way back, trying to find the, where, where your bet was to be settled, uh, looking for individuals, just make perception checks to see if you find what you're hoping to find. How muzzy am I? Everybody? You're fine now. Okay. Me too? Just you two. Perception. Oh, yeah. <sighs> 13. Perception is 8. Oh. It was a guy. No, I remember him. It was a guy. Um, That's the omen we all know. He had, of. <laughs> <laughs> he had um, two. Mm hmm. Uh, two eyes. Skin. A lot of skin. Either a, either a mustache or, uh, or no mustache. <laughs> He's about so high. All right. Uh, when you eventually, you rolled a what total? 13. 13. You do find the guy you made the bet with. He tells you that it's been collected. Ugh. But they just left. My Two cat men. What was that? Two, Two cat fucking men. They're cat called men. cat men. <laughs> See? I told you. He calls them tabaxi. Oh. Uh, great. Uh, that way? Which way? He says. Hmm. Do they I, have anything with them, like a drum or like a broken lute? Anything like that? You still got the lute around your neck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I go, uh, can you take a knee? Uh, yeah. Okay. I'll get up on his shoulders, and I just, I gotta be taller than anyone here. Can I see him in the crowd? Make another check. Uh, perception 15. It's a good threshold. All right. That's the correct sound. <laughs> Let me just check their stealth checks. Strix has been ignored for so long that she's just going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to sit outside of a building and just cry. <laughs> All right. I bring one of my free drinks out, and I, I put it in front of you. I say, I bought you a drink. Just Aww. to kind of... <laughs> I know you had a rough day. You lost the race, but... Uh, Maybe Pick it up and up. throw it on your cloak. <laughs> <laughs> I clean myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I cry into the cup and then drink that. <laughs> <laughs> Sad wine. <laughs> I call it my special juice. You spot the fuckers. <laughs> yes. Yes. I can move super fast. <laughs> Would you want to? Yep. I've got like a bonus action I can use to move. I can, and I'm starting from a height advantage. I will like, I can fucking run over the top of this crowd. All right. Right. I... As you chase after them, they see that they have been spotted and they bolt, moving like cats. They suddenly gain a burst of speed, almost running on all fours for like a minute. Like catmen. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, now you got both dinosaurs. I mean, so what is your speed if you're just doing your magic? Um, with a bonus action, yep. I can use two dash. I can do two dashes, right? Okay. So that's, is a dash double speed or regular speed? It's regular speed. Okay, so that's, thir that's 60. Okay. This is dash. This is dash, yeah. Yeah, so it's 90 if you don't do anything but move. You can move, use another move, and then use your dash. So yeah, 90. All right. Uh, they split up. 
as you, as you catch up to them. One of them runs toward the docks, the other, I have to find out what's not in the other direction of the docks. Is one of them... No, 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 no one toward the docks, the other toward a giant scratching post. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I can't resist. The box. Like, they never go for the scratching right. post. Like, <laughs> yes. You gotta give them a box. Uh, yeah, one is uh, heading to the docks, another is heading down a road toward stairs leading up to an upper district. Do we notice this commotion at this point? Like, because we yes, were sitting I'll there. Say, so, he identifies yeah. it. I'm like, snap, snap. I'm like, hey, no. <laughs> yep, this way. Okay. Stop drinking that. Whatever it is. <laughs> My Stop tears. drinking your tear wine. <laughs> <laughs> tear wine. We can market that. <laughs> um, you know what the natural enemy of the cat is in the wild? <laughs> I suspect it is the owl bear. Yeah. Oh, like, Chippy. I, if I'm, I get a leg up, and I'm like, Chippy, fetch! And I throw it at one of them, and I'm after the, the other. All right. <laughs> this owlbear appears, <gasps> looks around, and goes, go. <laughs> Strix, you oh. see him throw down a figurine and a big owlbear. I have an owlbear, but it's not here, because you guys took me away. <laughs> <laughs> the owlbear goes just barreling past a bunch of people, um, knocking them hither and thither. Everybody's freaked out because nobody's ever seen a creature like this before, uh, <laughs> tear assing through the crowd. So while they're, everybody is screaming in a panic in that direction, you run after the guy going toward the docks. Yeah. All right. You will be able to catch up to him. What do you do when you get to him? Oof. Um, I will... Lots of, lots of choices. I'm gonna... Yeah. Good. Oh, one sec, one sec. Not my, not my first rodeo, folks. <laughs> um, let, let the man work. Um, is seduction still a skill? <laughs> <laughs> you just lean up against the wall. <laughs> hey, cat man. <laughs> no, I will... Uh, I, it's safest, I, I, I bear him to the ground. I, I, I tackle, I gotta get him on the ground so he can't. Okay, run. so you're just trying to grapple him, basically, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. In that case, make a strength check. Athletics, I should say. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, 23. Okay. That's good. You are able to grapple his vest as he worms out of it, somehow, miraculously, <laughs> slips through your grasp, elusive as all hell, gets out from underneath you and just sort of scampers off and kind of hurls himself off of a dock onto a series of boats and begins to hopscotch oh, across the boats. bitch, I invented this game. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to fucking ninja scroll. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm after him. All right. If I can sort of see where they're going, yes. I'd, I'd like to hop on my broom and kind of go. I want to start to head them off. I, I can see maybe where the boats end at another yeah. dock. I want to I go that way. All right, so Jim hops on a broom to cut that guy off. I'm, there's two, so I'm going to go after yeah. the other one. You don't need you two You hop on your on broom, yeah. <laughs> go off I'm the other back. direction. I'm going to go with the owlbear. OK. So Strix and Omen, Viari and Jim. I got you, man. Thank you. All right. My broom's faster. <laughs> Damn it. And Omen, you're just hoofing it, right? Yeah. <laughs> clank, 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 clank. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's I am, it's hot. It's hot out here. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. All right. Um, as happens in places such as this, it seems like it only takes a minute for some clouds to come in and suddenly it just begins to downpour on the entire oh, city. Oh, what a relief. <laughs> yes, this is good for you because you were just dying for an instant there. But as soon as the rain starts to fall, you realize Timora is on your side. I it love must, it. Yeah. It must be nice. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> and it's a bunch really of cool. people around you, they, they have these things like umbrellas that stick up out of barrels and they put the umbrella up so it actually goes out like a V to be, be like rain catchers. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. And uh, people start to drop sails and awnings and things so they can basically to drain the water, to capture the water. And water begins to flow down through gutters in the middle of the streets. As you guys run across the, the decks of these rowboats, they become very slippery very fast. Okay. But you 
I'm not going to have you make a perception check. You can see there's actually a, a couple lines, like cable ropes, that go over this section. You don't even have to go down onto the ships if you want. Yeah, I, uh, I will. Actually, yeah, I've got second story work, so I Excellent. can go straight up as fast as I can run. Yep. And then I will belt off, because Viari always wears two belts ever since Jim <laughs> <laughs> took his pants off that one time. And, Smart. Uh, so, like, belt off, and then I'll zip line right down. All right. What indeed. ho? What indeed. ho, indeed. All right. So, the owlbear tackles that tabaxi just as you fly up to it. Right. I'm like, go. I don't know your name. Go do it. Kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Get him. Good owlbear. And you see the owlbear uh, securing this thing in its beak just starts to drag him physically oh, shit. back the way I, it I came. I did say fetch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good chippy. And the tabaxi's like, rrr, rrr. <laughs> and it's getting wet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is, no, just like dragging him like through the gutter. Yeah. <laughs> right, yes, exactly. Fish, uh, the other bugs. one is hopscotching across the thing, but you slide and drop down in front just as you swoop up in front as well. You I'm, going, I'm going after Viari's, right? Yeah. Yep. So you and Viari get to the other side and basically are there to confront him when he climbs up out of the last boat onto the dock. You're right there. Can I just... It's a cat man, right? Yep. Scruff. Scruff in the neck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's another grapple check. <laughs> <laughs> now, Why are they so on, cute? Hold on. I know, right? <laughs> No, you have, but, but do it old school. Get the scruff with your own mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll show him. 11, that's 20. Uh, you got him. Okay. Yeah, you got him. Yeah. I just shake him till all the candy comes out. <laughs> Uh, okay, and uh, you are successful. Your earnings begin to fall out of him and clatter down onto the dock. Ching, 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 ching. And then I give him a quick, has he got my apocalypse dagger? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe ours does. Do you want one of these? A cat man? Yeah. Uh, no. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't want to clean that litter box. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no thanks. And, and I'm, I'm actually a little pissed here. Right. And I, I look, I'm like, I'm like, what good are you to me right now? <laughs> wow. Wow. This got dark. God <laughs> damn. Well, he made you run over Hell's Half Acre. <laughs> uh, he says... <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you're so cute. He, he looks, he shows you the gold on the ground, and he says, I was just doing a job. For? Yoshida. Who lives? <laughs> Tariki Anchorage. My magician friend can find you later if I take a part of your body with me. <laughs> His eyes grow wide. I just, I just nod, but I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's how it works. <laughs> Convince me that you're telling the truth. He says, I'm just an actor. Oh, shit, man. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Guys are in the same guild. 
I mean, I, I put him down. I'm like, really? Alas, poor Yorick. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I mean, like, you could have just said. <laughs> You're an actor, too? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I, I was ready to like take a piece of this cat man, <laughs> and now they're best friends. Yeah. I know what it's like, man. It's it's fucking hard to make a living. It is. It is. <laughs> and this place seems a little rough. I mean, you got a lot yes. of competition here. Yes. Yeah, shit is a terrible person. Oh, dude, I I would stay away from her if I were you. Oh, I mean, but you know. You're right. You're right. <laughs> um. she, he says, she works for someone very, very bad, someone who lives in the jungle. He calls himself Rosnisi. Spelled. <laughs> <laughs> Is that with five Zs or? R <laughs> A S N. <laughs> S I. Okay, now. Acting. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're better than this work, right? Oh, uh, yes, very much so. So is my brother. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Cut to. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the owlbear is dragging this guy. Okay. And he's the. The owlbear bit into him, so cool. this guy's like bleeding Great. profusely up the shoulder as he's being carted back toward. Uh, and oh man, you start to see this lumbering beast with this tabaxi in its mouth. Dragging this cat man. Yes. Do I recognize this cat man? This yes, tabaxi, you do. For lack of a better term. Yes, this is the drummer. <clears throat> it's always the drummer, man. Yeah. I'm just cheering on the owl bear. Yeah, exactly. So I'll just start walking alongside the owl bear as it's dragging him. <laughs> okay. Um, and I'll just be kind of reaching over and trying to see if he's got any of my money or any uh, fancy daggers. Yeah. No. Yeah. What does Batman What does the cat man do, you villain? <laughs> uh, so, no, I, I, I'm, I'm checking him for money and for apocalypse daggers. Okay. Uh, you do not see apocalypse daggers. Uh, you do see that he has some money, but not a lot. Most okay. of the money is, was taken by his brother. Um, and, uh, but you do remove a pouch from him that has some coins in it, possibly money he got paid to do this heist. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you can also see that there are two shiny gemstones in there, cat's eye gemstones. Huh. Inside the bag? Inside the same bag, yeah. It's a pouch with two stones in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which you are currently fondling. Oh yeah, absolutely. Testing the weight. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, yeah, I mean, basically, I, I, it's just a casual conversation as we're walking down as he's being dragged through these gutters. <laughs> yes. I wait. When he's underwater, I wait. And then, you know, I continue as he is dragged yes. out along the stones. Yes. He tells you he's a musician. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, it was the chase. That's why all this happened to you. It's because you wasted my time. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Oh, indeed. It was a mistake. Agreed. Horrible, horrible mistake. Same page, yeah. Tell this thing to stop biting me, please. <laughs> Can I command this I've owlbear? I've lost a lot of blood. <laughs> Can I command this owlbear at all? No. Yeah. Yeah. I can try. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, go, stop. He's making, no, please. <laughs> no more beak. It just continues to drag him back. By this time, the two of you, you've sort of made friends with this one. You can see there's a loud ruckus back where you left as the big white beast of the owlbear visible through the crowd is clearly dragging something. A chippy, chippy, da. Oh. <laughs> Drop it. And I'm like, chippy. And I look at him, I'm like, I'm like, you okay? You got, it looks like somebody hit you with a hammer. <laughs> like, yeah. He does I have a bloody patch. I see the logo, the AI logo. Yeah. <laughs> Always be branding. Sure. <laughs> I'm like, you got, you got anything else before we get back? Because my boss is a little bit of a, uh, you know? 
You should probably leave here as quickly as possible. Ishida has many dark, evil friends. Okay. She'll know you're coming after her. Not from you. <laughs> Not from me, no. From you, you will hear that we were gravely injured. Improv. You right? were gravely injured. In gravely Improv. Injured. And? This will be your greatest role. <laughs> and you were taken to the local hospital. Yep. And, and then we're they saying, don't expect you to recover. <laughs> no, right. but, but for a very brief period, you did fall in love with a handsome doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, we're obviously going to go back where we came from, because this place is too much for us, right? Yes. 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 Um, and I, I give him one of the purses of money, and I'm oh, okay. like, don't take jobs like this, man. You're not cut out for it. <laughs> Thank you. You're far too kind. And get your brother. He's got kind of a, he's going to have, there's, uh, by, it's, back teen works really well for the <laughs> <laughs> owl bear. He'll nod. Yeah. We go, and scene. And <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. Long story short, the cat men come back together, the tabaxi, he begs for this beast to let go of his brother. Viari, you can tell it to... I was like, is, is this okay? Yeah. Okay. You tell Chippy to stand down. Chippy, down. Down. Good. Exactly. Good chip. Now, right. we have a... We need to do two things. We need to talk to Grandfather Satimbe yep. about the lost city of Umu and... We also have a lot of dinosaur semen to sell. <laughs> That's not my job. No, no, I got it. That's not my job. I got it. Nope. That's not in the contract. <sighs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm not milking this thing. Are you no, going to miniaturize Chippy again? Oh, yeah. Um, do I have 3,000 gold? Yes. Yeah, you would, right? Less, you know, yes. I, I passed a little off to this, this boy so he could, he could have a little bit of a better well, life. Well, let's not be hasty. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did that before we caught up to Let you. us recall, we will leave them the gold that they received for doing the job. Yeah. Correct. Now, don't give them our money, which is to say my money. I don't think you know that I... Well, <laughs> so I, you weren't oh, with no, me. I, I saw... Got a big purse. I, I woke up and said, ah, oh, my betting chips. Yes. And I, ah, fuck. Yes. And I saw you take like 3,000 gold <laughs> off of this cat man. Yeah. I, I actually play it that way. I'm like, what, what do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, right. I did tell you about that, didn't I? Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, we, well, you know, we got, we got five to one. I'm, I'm proud of that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a win. Yeah. yeah. That's a win. Good odds. All right. Satimbe. You go to the Temple of Sabras, and when you arrive, let me just get quickly to that section. Chris, yes. is it cool to use your book? This is surreal that it's a thing. <laughs> it's a pretty book. It yeah. is. Excellent. Uh, so you come to this old grand structure in the city. The tiled roof of its great dome resembles an unblinking eye staring skyward. When you step inside, you see a, an, old, an elderly black man, thin, frail, uh, having a heated conversation with three figures in black hoods with long, silky black robes. And it looks like they're in the middle of a negotiation, and these three dark figures are handing it looks like a very large ruby or gem to the old man, but he wants none of it. Um, I want to try to overhear the conversation, but I don't want to try to like, okay. penetrate the aura of this. It, you space. catch only the tail end of it, because as you march in with your gang, yeah. the, all the figures kind of see you standing in the doorway, and then the old man says, no, no divinations, no readings. I don't know where your friend is. I can't help you. Leave. Go. 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 Get out. I say, yeah, get out. And, they, <laughs> and when they see you, they do. They bundle up their, their goods, and they hastily move past you. And as, as you they look, go back out, are they human? They are human, but you can see the lower part of their face is covered up with shawls that they basically tied around their heads. So you only really see their eyes and their foreheads. Their snake eyes? 
Uh, they do not look like snake eyes. They look pure human. Okay. And one of them has just the almost like cut jade color of green eyes. And when he looks at you, those eyes tell a story of murder. Um, this, this is... Really? Those, those are the eyes of a cold-blooded assassin. Okay. Literally cold-blooded. Yeah. <laughs> because he's a snake. Right. We'll, we're picking up what you're putting down. I like it. I'm scared. But yeah. now you are alone with Grandfather Zatembe. And he says, thank you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Could uh, get rid of those guys. Yeah, exactly. Yes. It, 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 think nothing of it. Um, listen, we're not from here. It's probably not a huge surprise. <laughs> you don't say. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you look like a devil. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Those we, guys we, were creepy road people. I mean, they were spooky. Yeah. Yeah, there's, but there's, a, there's thresholds. Um, <laughs> he does so, give a hairy eyeball to the teeth leg. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. who are those road people? They were terrifying. He says, you don't well, want any part of them. We're, uh, we've run into the Zentarum before, right? You have. Do they Couple times. look like they? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't like that. Zents. So everywhere we go, they're like MasterCard. Like, they're everywhere we want yep. to be. <laughs> um, so... Uh, grandfather will tell you, Grandfather Zetembe will say that more of them have cropped on the city of late. Apparently, uh, they're getting contracts to do mercenary work out well, yeah, guarding, I, guarding uh, trails to the mines, yeah, helping to fortify the city walls. Well, and I suspect I mean, any, anywhere you see, anywhere you see that, that faction, that cadre, um, generally speaking, it's not a good indication. Say so we, were, we were informed uh, about your expertise, uh, specifically while well, we are trying to discover uh, the location of a city called Omu. Uh, on a you will hold up a poor box and just give it a shake. <laughs> you hear a couple coins inside it. It's feeling a little light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll put a snack in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a... Like what? Like what snack? It says. Oh, like a little waffle the tembe or says, something. Like a little waffle. <laughs> like a little pastry, just like a. Huh? Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> but they're good snacks. It's a good thing I already gave you all that money that I, I won. <laughs> Pay the man, Viari. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll put one of the purses full of money in there. Which is like roughly how much? Just uh. 300. What? <laughs> Says this won't take long. Oh, sorry, I didn't say. <laughs> I didn't say pay him. All right. <laughs> it's not how much. I tell people it cost. takes 24 hours, but it only takes an hour. I'll be right yeah, back. yeah. <laughs> I'm going to use my good divination machine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Secret notes. <laughs> well, so, Secret. is Jeff Cal's your dungeon master? <laughs> <laughs> is that how it works? It's been a shadow operation. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And uh, he comes back in an hour and says, Oh, my way. I closed the book. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I bet you know what page it's on. There it is. Yeah. He says, In my visions, I saw. <laughs> A jungle city far to the south, enclosed by cliffs and crawling with snakes. Mm -hmm. mm. And I saw a black obelisk draped in vines. Hmm. Okay. Then it got too scary. <laughs> I changed the channel. Yeah. I hear ya. I started watching my stories. <laughs> yes. All right. All right, so that seems like something we could see from the air pretty readily. South. Yeah. Go south. Same, same page. South. Find a guide if you can, but go south. How, how south? Let the winds guide you. All right. All right, it's getting weird now, guy. <laughs> yes. Can I, can I, like, do an insight check to see if this guy is, like, sure. totally barmy? He starts to walk away and watch out for seagulls. Oh, I got a four. I don't know. And All right. Uh, yeah, he seems kind of barmy to okay, you. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. All right. I, I'm curious. I just walk up to him and I say, how, how'd you do that? I'm, I mean, I like magic. How'd you, how'd you divine this? 
I you communed, show me your divinator? I communed with the great god Savras. Huh. Can I make a, a check to see if I think that sounds reasonable? Sure. You can make an insight check. Wisdom insight. You're trying to be more magic-y smart than me? Yep. An 11. <laughs> <laughs> uh... You're, you think that's pretty normal for a priest of a faith. Okay. If Sabras is indeed a god of prophecy and fortune telling, then he probably has the power to share visions with his acolytes. Okay. Not a, it's not a wizard thing. No, I don't get it. Yeah. yeah. I, probably I, lying. I, yeah. I knew he knew magic. I just wanted to see if he was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, the cat man said that uh, my girlfriend was working for a bad guy. Yeah. I was thinking about something else at the time, but what was the bad guy's name? He kind of spelled most of it. Rosnisi. Rosnisi. Do uh, Rosnisi? Does that ring a bell? When you say Rosnisi, uh, Grandfather Satembe just drops the poor box. He had walked away at that point, just crash <laughs> onto the floor, and then he looks back at you like you just said a curse word in his church. Uh oh. Oh. Yeah, we we might want to talk a little bit more. Um... No more money, though. He's good. Do yeah. I, does that, did that ring a bell for me once I stopped to like, actually think about it? Based on the things you read in Wakanga Otama's... Yeah. Library? Uh, yes. Do I still have that book? No. Did the your, box break? Your rival does. Uh, the box spilled. So oh. it's, it spilled oh, shit. As, I'm taking spilled my snack content. back. I, I see. Oh. <laughs> I'm taking it All right. right back. <laughs> don't let him have that. I don't want the money. I just you want eat, my snack says, back. You eat three gold pieces Just of this is a demon. A demon? Yes, haunts the jungles, created an army of undead and unleashed it everywhere. They're a plague now. Rude. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> <laughs> he says in the new lingo. Yeah. <laughs> while he pines for a comb. Yeah. Um, and then uh, he says, was one of the sworn defenders of the lost city of Mesro, but he betrayed them all. Cast out he was. I don't need his whole backstory. <laughs> <laughs> He's a bad guy, okay. Bad guy, army is dead, I get it. Do not speak his name here. He is a curse on all this land. Forsaken by Ubtau and the old gods. Hmm. Huh. And Grubtau was the one who, uh, he... He had that great he, dynasty. He's, he's the guy... If you have angered Resnisi, you should do what you must and leave at once. Oh no, we got it in for him. We're going to go eat his lunch. <laughs> I don't know what he has for lunch. <laughs> but like, or what? why you would want to eat it. <laughs> the, the, the Uru guy is the one who, like, he, uh, if you find a maze he, and you, tr if you solve the maze, it kind of blesses yes. you. Yeah, okay. He used to watch over all of us, and then he left. So he sort of extracted himself from these affairs. Yes. So is this place that he saw, is this the lost city, is, or is it a choice of lost city or obelisk? I think, uh, I think Omu and the obelisk are... Omu is... The they're synonymous. There's their, the city where, long story short, Rosnisi came from a place called Mesro. The place yeah. you're looking for is Omu. OK, thank you. Is this curse the same curse that's making it so that, that he's real gross and that... I'm not gross. She's a liar. Super gross. She's a liar. That, She's fucking that, crazy. No one can be resurrected. No, she's still gross. But is it the same thing? Because people can't be resurrected right now. That's all I'm saying. I got, I got that info because my friend died. Crazy. <laughs> what is she talking about? I don't curse. know. Rosnisi is a curse on this land, a blight. Oh, it's a different curse. Different this place curse. is real curse, man. Yeah. It's a curse a minute here. Yeah. <laughs> I can't well, help here. You with this one. Let's go try to fix one of them. Okay. Okay. All right. You head back to your ship. Indeed. Uh, which is safe and sound just as you left it. And as you recall, uh, you have crew members. We do. In case it becomes relevant, I've printed out their statistics for you, Omen. Oh, Scubby. Oh, we have Elandria. Wow. Right? Yep. yep. So you can just hang on to those. Scubby and I, I are pushed friends. Off the boat, right? yeah. That <laughs> would be Hibner. The exactly. tiefling. Exactly. Elandria Primp. Scubby, Scubby Horn Swallow. Scubby. Uh, Hell's Adjacent Hibner. And Tweed Barsom. Yeah. Yes, two gnomes, an elf, and a tiefling. 
Walk into a bar. And Scubby, yeah. Scubby was the tiefling. Scubby is the gnome. The gnome. Hibner was the tiefling that you pushed off the deck and fell into the, the bay. Okay. Got you. When you return to the ship, uh, Hibner says, oh, you're alive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, right? <laughs> <laughs> And they yeah. start to prepare yeah, say, the ship I, 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 for departure. Um, but, 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 but I want to feel like I'm a part of the process. Like I want to be like a hands-on manager. So while they're clearly getting everything underway, I say, get everything ready to make way. <laughs> <laughs> and is, Pull that rope. Is there anything we should load up on before we go? Like, like a big thing of snake poison or... <laughs> Anti-venom. Anti-venom is handy. Anti uh, Anti-venom, like, yeah. like some DDT. Yeah, do exactly. I leave 18 in a stable? Yeah. You can, you can park him somewhere. Yeah. Make, make him a gift okay. to the, the, the... The other possibility is you could try to that. buy some sort of rig and just hang him from the underside oh, of your no. ship. But, yeah. Oh! I would like to do that. Okay. So yeah, that, I mean, they must have some mechanism for hauling these dinosaurs. Yeah, around, they do. Right? Yeah. So they can rig an apparatus to your vessel. It'll probably take the, about a half a day's work. But then you'll have a dinosaur strapped to the underside of your ship. A dinosaur, a dinosaur is its own reward. Yeah. So. <clears throat> its little legs just sort of oh. hanging <laughs> in there. And as you, feed him over as the you lift off <laughs> out of Fort Nyanzaru, <laughs> And the city gets more distant behind you. You move among the clouds, and suddenly parts of the city get blocked out, blotted out beneath you. The dinosaur just begins to roar and cry. This is sad. No. I, makes... I go down there on my broom, okay. and I, I want to put my hand on him and just try to calm him down. Everything's okay. Just All right. a little ride. Just make an animal handling check to settle him down. 18. Yes. Success. 18. 18. <laughs> Eighteen. 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 All right. I have a bond with this dinosaur. You do. <laughs> and since time is of the essence, imagine a glorious montage where oh, yeah. you are just it's sailing exquisite. over the jungle, seeing all kinds of spectacular It's creatures. awesome. Take this shit off. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my cup! Oh. What? That's amazing. It's got lights it in it. It has lava. God damn. The water is so shiny. It is. As your airship drifts over the jungle canopy, there is a place where the ground falls away. A lost city that has sunk into the earth, surrounded by cliffs on all sides. A river pours into the city, creating a waterfall that spills flowing through the heart of the city and flooding parts of it before dumping into what appears to be a cracked fissure, an opening filled with boiling, bubbling, molten lava. Steam wow. billows out of the lava pit, and the whole place is shrouded with mist. So as a result. Oh, yeah. Yes. That's cool, yeah. Good God. This is why I brought the laser pointer. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you look at the rubble of Omu, um, there's so much mist in here, it's hard to really get a sense of detail, but you see the buildings kind of through it all, and the trees through it all. There is a large, what appears to be ruined structure over here that may have been some sort of palace or something in its day. And then a number of other large buildings, including an amphitheater here on this side that you can't see, Patrick, because there's a tree in the way. But it's there. Uh, but you've got the airship. You can park it and, a, and your dinosaur anywhere you want. That amphitheater would be a good venue if we ever want to, yeah. you know. It's about diversification. Right now, the entertainment business, yeah. very fragmented. Um, does, does that big structure look vaguely maze-like to me? It, it looks like in its day... I think it might have been. It was sort of arrayed out like the symbol of Ubtau. 
Oh. oh. That's a good sign. So it does bear a striking resemblance to that, yes. I mean, should, should we land there? Now, Uptau, like, loved people to do the maze. It was important to him that they do that. Landing in is the opposite. I assume that that's the same as saying, fuck you, Uptau. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they love dinosaurs, though. True. Like, so you could just... Oh, my God, there's a little bridge. I saw it. Oh, yeah. it's tiny. <laughs> no, and... It looks unstable. Chris, there's actually tiny people over here living their entire lives. <laughs> <laughs> there's actually a little overturned cart right here. Yeah. Aww. Little flowers next to it. There's I like, feel like we should land oh. somewhere on the <laughs> outskirts of the maze. Yeah, let's... Yes. I'd, Honor um, the maze. Yeah. If also, like, the amphitheater might just be a good place to put the ship in our dinosaur so it doesn't run away. Yes. That's true. It seems like you got a hard dick for this amphitheater, man. <laughs> you want to go to the fucking... Okay. Oh, v Viari's been selling out the little venues, and this place seems like <laughs> it's got enough seats. While they're debating, I'm going to tie everyone to the boat so no one gets thrown over. Yeah. <laughs> this, I just don't want anyone to get chucked off again. <laughs> just... But they're like busy doing their shit and you're just tying yeah, ropes to them? Yeah, I'm just tying ropes to them. <laughs> I'm literally just walking around tying ropes to them. Excellent. All right, so the amphitheater for landing I like craft. It. Okay, you bring it down, you bring it down, you bring it down. Make perception checks as you're landing just to see if you notice any other features in the city. Twelve. Twelve. Whoa. Twenty is very good. You found the Arby's. <laughs> there it is! I got 14. 14. Uh, I have got, uh, I don't have a natural 20, but I do have a 26. 26? Yeah. Okay. The two of you notice that in the cliffs are ledges, not surprisingly, um, but perched on some of those ledges and watching you descend oh, I know. are gargoyles. Oh. And at first they look like just oh, no. car weird carvings, but they do move and watch you. <laughs> And you can see that they have weird faces uh, that look like Aww. that. Oh. I suspected. Open, big, distended open mouths. Are they making any movement towards us, or are they just no. hanging out on the ledges? They're just hanging out on the ledges, but what, you're clearly being observed. What do I know about gargoyles? Make an arcana. Damn near everything. Yeah. Arcana? Yep. Uh, 15. They are creatures of elemental earth. Uh, there is a legend that they are born on the elemental plane as broken off shards of a prince of elemental evil called Ogre Mach. Ooh. And that these pieces become gargoyles, but they can be brought by wizards and other beings into the material world and enslaved or bound as guardians. So they're not natural, they're not like and natural. They're evil. They're, uh, and they're evil. Okay, that's what I was getting at. <laughs> Thanks for, thanks for jumping right to the end there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Buried the lead. <laughs> Buried the lead. Uh, uh, huh. When you say there are legends, uh, ledges and, and, did you say Vines some and... of these or there are m many of You're these? able to count three. Three. Um, three ledges or three gargoyles? Three gargoyles, each on their own ledge, watching you. Just watching at the moment. And judging. Judging. Do you guys tell us about it? We oh, yeah. It. Actually, we're probably over there. I'm like, that's... Uh, that's oh, yeah, gargoyle. Definitely. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> like, how many arms do they have? It's like a shard of the... Uh, they have four oh, arms. yeah, yeah, that dude. Yeah, Mr. Yeah, Mr. O. Yeah, evil. Yep. Do they oh. have four arms? Are they like animal things? No, they have two arms, these ones. <laughs> okay, because a four-armed one like, like wrecked us at one point. Oh, really? Are yeah. they voiced by Jonathan Frakes? <laughs> oh... I hope so. <laughs> uh, my, okay. Now, I am not one to pick a fight. No. But. How uh, is the airship armed? So the airship has a dragon slaying harpoon on the front, as you recall. Mm -hmm. And it's got a crossbow, a swivel crossbow on the back. Let's just, let's, let's, let's kill these things now because I don't want to come back and they're looking through my ship. <laughs> Exactly. Um, I tell uh, Scubby and Alondria Primp to ready the crossbow. Okay. 
They're tied to the ship, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so they get close. They, they get like, to the end of their ropes. Yep. <laughs> I, I can let some slack out and just let them run. But I'm like, I'm not letting go. You guys, you guys are crazy. Okay. As they run, the ropes just sort of crisscross you, Omen. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh, I do every right. goddamn thing. I ready the crossbow. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm, I, don't, I, I don't have like big wizardy spells. Should I take the big harpoon gun? Everyone, we cool with that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, how, how far are we from this cliff wall? As far as you want to be. When you were descending and you noticed it, you were probably about 60 feet away. Oh, okay. I'd say, Strix, how do you feel about gargoyles? What's your position? I mean, they're real bad. Yeah. You, yeah, they'll, they'll wreck you. Can I ask you a favor? Oh, okay. I think you have to tell me a favor. I can't say no. no, no. <laughs> I, say, I, say, I say, can I ask you a favor? And then I gently tap the contract on your <laughs> <throat> <laughs> I say, I need you to kill some gargoyles. Oh, all right. Plural. No, by myself? No, no, we'll help. Okay, good. <laughs> that doesn't usually work out when I'm by myself. I'm just no. saying. I say, Jim? Yeah. Go with Strix. Mm. You want me to kill the gargoyles and show her a couple things? Show a couple tricks? <laughs> I got it. I get it. No, I just, I, did, I need you both. You have brooms. I'm just saying you can fly. But I'm in and... charge. Yeah, okay. Yeah, sure. okay. <laughs> He said, sure. All right. That was Roll dismissive. initiative. <laughs> also say, now, hey, Jim, um, Jim, we might need you here on the ship, so stay close. I'm close, yeah. Okay. That's, okay. My, that's my way of saying, of all the people who should fly out to meet the gargoyles, yeah. you're not top of my list. <laughs> With my 27 points. For the sake of your points. sanity, I've got uh, cutout versions of those NPC sheets. I'll give one to each one of you. Hey. Oh, cool. And on your turn, you can also determine what your NPC does. Ooh. So Look at this. Uh, Succulent. Who do you want to have a Tweed Barsom, the rock gnome uh, with the clockwork drone? Tweed Barsom, that is... Uh, I, I want Hibner. the guy who pushed off the ship. <laughs> Hibner. All right. He pushed Hibner. You, you don't even remember his name. You get Hibner, yeah. the tiefling. He's he going to turn on me. Yeah. I don't listen. I don't need you to complicate this, Yari. <laughs> he says, oh, joy. <laughs> Who wants a uh, tweed barsom? Mr. Jim. All right. Got him. Who wants a Landria primp? The wizard. You. you get scubby horn no, swallow. I wanted scubby. See, exactly the whole right. time. Scubby and I are friends. All right. So Mr. what are Scubs. your initiatives? Uh, I have 18. 18. 12. 12. 18. 17. 17. 14. 14. All right. Oh, man. Yes. I have an 18, which is very high. Yes. I just doing? wanted to make sure everybody knew. You go first. I do. Now, uh, I am wheeling this crossbow uh, over, and I'm aiming it at these gargs. Okay. And then I just say, I just say, buckle up. Uh, and I lose, I lose some massive bolts. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, now, how would I do that in a game? Just make a d20 roll. Yep. <laughs> Add plus six. Can do. 15. OK. You hit. Good. All right. Uh, this is the crossbow, right? It is. Roll 2d10. Can do. Fuck you, gargoyle. Uh, that's 12, sir. Okay, that strikes the gargoyle. Uh, you wound it and chip it slightly, but it seems to be highly resistant to this non-magical mm. weapon damage. That's how it is. <laughs> Sometimes you need the magic. <laughs> Jim, dark magic, magic. Yep. All right. Next up is, or oh, sorry, you've got an NPC as well. What do you want Alandria to do? Uh, Alandria, print. if anything, and she can do nothing. That's fine. Let's see. Uh, she can, uh, can I have her launch uh, barrages of magic missiles? You sure can. Yep, that's what I'm going to have her do. All right. Roll some magic missile dice. Uh, so if she's using a first level spell, it's 3d4 mm -hmm. plus 3. Yep, here it comes. OK. 3d4, so that's 4. Nice work, Alondria. 2, so 6. And then another 2. So 8 plus 3 is 11. All right, those magic missiles blow parts off that gargoyle. Much more effective. Perfect. All right. Strix and Scubby. All right, against 
my better judgment, because I really wanted to show off my super cool spells, I'm going to cast Death Ward on Jim, because I know that if he dies, I'm never going to get to go home. <laughs> <laughs> what is Death Ward? Oh, it's a spell that you don't have. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't heard of it. See, I'm a favored soul sorcerer, which cool. means that I can take cleric spells. Just so. Pervert. Right. <laughs> and by the way, how high do you want the ship to be off the ground while you're fighting this aerial battle? High. Like 60 feet, 80 feet, 100 feet? Uh, well, let's see. So 100 feet would be basically at the top of the cliffs. Yeah, let's say 60, okay. so that we can get good shots on them, but I'm not going to be exposed to any fucking jungle spiders or whatever out here. Okay. <laughs> Flying gargoyles? Flying gargoyles. I kind of assumed. All right. What, what does that spell do? If I die, do I not die? You, not, you don't die. You not die. You not but die. I, you not I don't, die. Do I notice her casting it on me? Like, you am I aware of it? feel a spell has been cast on you. All right. I'm like, hey, not cool. <laughs> Dispel magic. <laughs> oh, no. But... <laughs> I don't dispel it. Uh, okay. I, I say, I make the motion, I say the words, but I keep the spell on. Okay. <laughs> I don't need your magic. All right, can I, tell him, can I tell if he's lying? I want to tell if he's lying. Can I see if he's lying? Hang on, okay, let me just check something here. Performance? Sure. Uh, I'm, yeah, what, Insight. I'm, oh. Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, I 14. got a 10, ah, so... I don't need your shitty spells. <laughs> I'm hurt. You know, I was yeah, trying to save your life. That was your action. That was my, you and know... It's, it's just wasted. Yeah. It's gone now. It doesn't exist. I dispelled it. So easily. <laughs> the wave of my hand, it was gone. I'm going to throw the vial of your vomit on you. <laughs> <laughs> what what would get. Scubby like to do, if anything? Uh, Scubby is actually an illusionist, so I'm going to tell Scubby to kind of like, if he can, like maybe, like make an illusion on the ship. Do something that will make the make the ship look like it's someplace else, or like the like, like what? I don't do well under pressure. <laughs> God damn it, Scubby! <laughs> <laughs> uh, just just make make I don't know, put birds around the ship. Put a bunch of crows around the ship. All right. Uh, he he puts. These creatures that look like pelicans. Close enough. Close enough. That sort of flutter around the ship. Like four of them. Good, good effort. Good yeah. effort, Scubby. I'm, I'm sure these chuckle fox don't encourage you at all. <laughs> <laughs> but I believe in you. All right. The illusions. The gargoyles, realizing they're under attack, uh, will spring forth, uh, leap from their ledges down upon you. And uh, they will come, one will come swooping at you, Viari. You're on the front weapon. Uh, okay. But uh, that's going to be a 15. Nope. Nope. Uh, one is going to come after you, Omen. And one is going to come after Scubby. <gasps> oh, shit. All Scubby, right. no. <laughs> All right, uh, crits Scubby. Oh, oh Scubby, no. Oh, wow. How many... How many hip here? Listen. Is he, he's covered in birds. <laughs> yeah. Uh, ignores the dumb pelicans. Oh. As he uh, swoops down, grabs Scubby, uh, and just bites Scubby's face. Scubby. And, uh, you mean, when you say bites, do you mean eats? <laughs> yes. Yeah, Basically, eats Scubby's face with a big mouth and says, as he's eating Scubby's face, Prepare to be. <laughs> and does 12 points of damage. Oh my yes, God. Yes. Scub Scubby's dead. Yeah. <laughs> I just, you know, NPCs, they just get near me and they then, die. <laughs> then with its mouth still on Scubby's face and its claws sinking into Scubby's flesh, it flies off. What, oh, takes him away? Yeah. I still believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Scubs. The last one comes after you, Jim. He's tied by a rope. He is tied by a rope. <laughs> I forgot that I did that. That's pretty good. Strix on behalf of Acquisitions so Incorporated. 
Uh, I want to say excellent work. <laughs> Thank you. He's still dead. Thank you. Oh, yeah, he's super dead. Now we just have a gargoyle like that we have to reel in. <laughs> yeah, the gargoyle gets about 20 feet out and then snaps. Yeah. <laughs> and part of Scubby goes one way and part of him oh. goes the other way. Oh, God. Oh. God. No, there's not a lot of him. He is a gnome. And the other one comes after you, Jim. Yep. Good luck. Yep. It'll land on the deck, uh, and its first attack misses. It's going to tick you with its claws, and it rolls a 22. Barely. All right. Barely. It will do nine points of damage. What? All right. Okay. Should have kept that spell, I guess. The Ari. <laughs> um, I will say to Hibner, uh, shoot it. All right. Um, make a d20 roll and add five. And if you hit, it will do a shit ton of damage. 14. 14. 14. Yeah. All right, that just misses the gargoyle. No! Oh! The big harpoon. He, he has a uh, plus one to dex. Uh, he can't add his own dex to this siege weapon. He has plus one to charisma. <laughs> he looks great doing it. <laughs> oh. He's like, prepare to be! <laughs> no, he leans fetchingly against the crossbow. <laughs> and his bolt just misses it by a whisker. Okay, but the thing is right on top of Jim, pretty much? Yeah. So I'll run uh, toward it. I will bonus action. Uh, Chippy, I choose you. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Big giant owlbear on deck. Gets all tangled. That's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> and then I will do all manner of the attacks on uh, the thing. All right. Um, I've got, I do, I have the plus one sword and I have a rapier, which is not magical. Uh, the plus one sword will be the big one. Okay. A, a lot. Like 25 and better. Yes. Two hits. Okay. Um, I will put the sneak attack on the magic sword. Good call. And then it will be one, two, three. Get as many four. as you want. <laughs> he won't say shit. No. <laughs> He'll just be like, you win, Dungeons and Dragons. One, two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Good job. <laughs> One of the okay, this faces is... on that dice says top? Yeah, there's a tabletop dice. Okay. Uh, woo! Six, that's 22. Good lord! 22 plus six is 28. Strix can't even do this much math. 28. <laughs> then seven, uh, so that's 28 on the magical sword. Okay. And then seven, 15. 13 on the regular rapier. Okay, so six on that one. <laughs> All right, you plunge the magic sword through its stony form and cracks appear in its body. The other one, you're able to chip off uh, some of its body, but not do as much damage. You might need the other sword. It is still alive. Get the sword out. Jim. Uh, does Chippy attack? Chippy, yes, can yeah. attack. And he has, like, so he's claw got, bite? He's got, yes. I got his stats right here. Whoa! Oh. No, 18. 18. 18, 18. and 20. All right. No, I am t 18. Give me some beak and claws damage. So, uh, for the beak, it's 1d10 plus 5. Okay. And it's, that's the crit. Okay. So, 2d10 oh. plus 5. Yeah, was it? Uh, 11, 16. 16. Okay. And the claws is 2d8 plus 5. Yowza. 2d8. Uh, 15. Okay, the combination of all of that causes the gargoyle to just crumble to pieces. <laughs> You're up. So the one two. that was fighting you has now been gone. slain. There's and the two, two that are left are flying, they're not on the deck? Uh, that is correct. Okay. Um, 
I'm going to do Scorching Ray, and I'm going to cast it at uh, fourth level. So I'm going to have four rays. Okay. I'm going to do. Uh, there's one that's been hit. Yes. I'm going to do all four on that guy. Yeah. All right. Two d six four times. Nine. Eight. I hope somebody's adding this. Ten. <laughs> yep. Twenty-seven. Three. Okay. Thirty. Thirty damage. Okay. That's all right. Pow! Pow! Yeah. So this. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Scorching ray. No, no, dude. It has to be like some uh, some John Woo type shit where it's like you're just dropping wands. Doves are flying in slow motion. <laughs> I'm pulling Wand. wands out of everywhere. Yeah. It's like a Daft Punk concert. It's just rays going off <laughs> every direction. I'm just like, yeah. it's too bright. It's too much. Yeah. <laughs> now, these spells normally require an attack roll. Oh, yeah. I don't mean, it's up to you. I don't... <laughs> But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take the damage away. From oh! I'm just gonna let you have it. It's your birthday. Hey! <laughs> this is what it feels like to be Pat. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. My life has been a lot harder than yours. My mercy. Knows right now. <laughs> My mercy knows no bounds. Uh, yes. So uh, that one is now very, very badly wounded. Would you like? Um, your NPC to do anything? Uh, yeah, Tweed will. He's got a little clockwork drone. Yep. Can I set, have him send it out to just sort of harry the other one that's flying around? I yes. just wanted to get in its face. Absolutely. All right, so it's got a little clockwork drone flying in its face. Okay. All right. I would argue that it was the distraction of that drone that let Jim. Oh, yeah. Nail it, nail it, nail it. Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I buy that. So your dinosaur, <laughs> your dinosaur that's 18, still strapped to the underside of the ship, yeah. sees this tied-off meal come swinging down in front of its face. <laughs> it's just I'm trying to snap at it as it swings in. And so it starts to move its little leg or big legs to try to get closer to it. I'm, 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 oh. I'm, 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 like I'm, swinging I'm, close, like getting ever closer. Yeah. So on the deck, you just sort of feel this little kind of motion. Yeah. Of sway. Oh, God. Yeah. But they're herbivores. No, no, no. No. The term is opportunistic carnivore. <laughs> <laughs> you only eats meat when nobody's looking. Yeah. All right. Uh, so it's, you can feel the slight sway. But... Uh, None of you need to make checks to hear a loud roar from down below. Oh, so no. loud that it fills the city with its sound. And terrifies the gargoyles. No. Oh. Gargoyles, <laughs> gargoyles are not terrified at all. Um, but your crew certainly is. Um, but it seems to be coming from underneath you. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And Plump. you hear this sort of sound like... <laughs> Do I, it, d does my glass of water <laughs> yes. have like a... Yes. <laughs> Even though we're flying? Oh, cool. no. This does it for cinematic effect. Yeah. yeah. All right. But it is Omen's turn. I love it. Uh, so this is what I think I need to do. So I have a spell called Magic Weapon. Yes, you do. Now, I should be able... A non-magical weapon becomes magical. Can I cast Magic Weapon on the ship's crossbow. Yes. Oh, yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> well, are, are the gargoyles, like, are they made of stone? They are. Can't you Ooh. shape stone? Don't Inanimate you have stone, stone shape? What's that? Inanimate stone. Inanimate stone. Idiot. Mm. Cool. I like to think that Omen kind of turns aside, flips through a little book, <laughs> runs his finger down. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I can't do that. All right, so you cast the spell. Yeah, exactly. Um, and that's that's my that's yep. my turn, right? You have a move action, but you have exactly. Right here. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna cast a spell and yep. prepare this, make this an, a holy instrument of Timora. What do you do? Uh, I'm gonna look over the edge with my movement action and try to find the source of this bomb, bomb, bomb. Climbing up oh, to the boom, top boom of the amphitheater is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. I told you this amphitheater was a shit show. 
<laughs> and you can see this Tyrannosaurus Rex has feathers growing out of it. <clears throat> nice. Now, I, I want to see, is he here for a show? <laughs> There's a tiny ticket in his hand. <laughs> he, seem, he seems to be very, very intrigued with what's going on above him. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, here, so, so he's, he's coming up to high ground to get a better look. Nice. Yeah, exactly. So I, 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 I shout across the deck to Elandria Primp uh, to deliver more uh, magic missiles. All right. Pew, pew, pew. Two. Four. Nice work, Alondria. Twelve points total. She blows apart the one that Jim yeah. Yeah. damaged. Well, she, but she jumps a little bit on the deck. Like, like she's just like... <gasps> <laughs> All right. Strix. Oh, gosh. And I've heard this dinosaur as well, so I'm just like pulling. I'm going to first pull up the bloody rope. Okay. <laughs> what's left of All right, Scubby? You pull up what's left of Scubby. Stubby. Sorry, Sorry buddy. Stubby. Stay Thank you, good night. All right. That's probably your action, getting him up on the deck of the ship. Really? <laughs> Just like, that's it? You could decide to let him go and do something else. Yeah, you know what? I'll take that back. Whatever. Fuck you, Scubby. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got spells to cast. Yes, you do. Let his bloody rope hang off the ship. Um, so there's a dinosaur. I don't want anything to do with this, so I'm going to try and fly out and fireball it. All right. You soar off on your broom, and you lob a fireball down onto the dinosaur. Yeah. I'm just going to do regular. What's your save, DC? It is, I believe, 16. Yeah. All right. Roll your damage. The dinosaur okay. takes all of it. You know... We didn't know that this dinosaur oh, is one. hostile. <laughs> it was just we were making noise right outside this. All of its house. feathers burn off. Wow. No. And, <clears throat> what color is the fireball? I would say it's a green flame. Green flame! <laughs> Look at all the green flame foam fingers. <laughs> I got, I got confused counting the numbers because everyone yelled. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was 30. All right. Thank you. Thank you, math students. 30? Okay. Yeah. Uh, momentarily, it's engulfed by this big fireball, and then the fire clears, and it's still there, all blackened and scorched. No more feathers. No, uh, but also you end up consuming its half-written novel. Viari. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's truly a tragic figure. What was it about? Other, was it a romance novel? Yeah. A dinosaur romance novel? Yeah. Urban fantasy. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. I mean, look. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. I'm, glad I, I'm glad I burned it. <laughs> How far down is it to the dinosaur? 30 feet. Because you're 60 feet up, and he's at the top of the amphitheater. I can, I can jump 30 feet. You sure right? can. <laughs> Anyone can jump 30 feet. <laughs> it's really more about the landing. <laughs> um, now, I'm assuming that this harpoon is like a one and done. It would take like... No, you could reload it. Um, it, it takes an action to load the weapon. There's a refractory. But you have an NPC, so... All right. Um, are there other crossbows... That you know that Hibner could just go and shoot because they're already loaded. Okay. No. The other ones at the aft. The cro there's the harpoon at the front and the car crossbow aft. He can't get to the aft one in time. How? And honestly, the harpoon can't aim straight, aim straight down. down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. for dragons. So you'd have I'll, to lower the ship. I'll I'll say. No. I'll I'll tell Hibner. I'm like, make good choices with this harpoon. Shoot whatever you but can. But if you were to tie a rope to the harpoon and shoot it straight out. No. That's just silly. <laughs> you it's could, pretty you could sweet. I it. authorize this. <laughs> I think Hibner, uh, there's, there's ropes all over the deck tied yes. to things, right? There's ropes everywhere. So, Rope Fest 2017. <laughs> Be there. Be there. Sorry about that. With, with my cunning action, yeah. I, will, I will cut a rope that's secured to something else. Okay. And then I'll... Hibner. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, no. I go, ching. <laughs> make, make good choices. <laughs> and I will very carefully take the end of the rope that's tied to the ship. Yeah. Not to Hibner. Okay. <laughs> nice. Smooth. Yeah. Smooth. Very smooth. He didn't deserve that. No. And then I will, um, yeah, I'll jump off the ship towards the dining, just kind of at an angle so I can swing at uh, the Tyrannosaurus Rex from an unexpected angle, therefore okay. hopefully gaining advantage. Okay. <laughs> if I were a Tyrannosaurus Rex, I would never expect this. So not toward the mouth. I mean... That's the most unexpected vector. <laughs> It would, be, it would be the right. most unexpected vector. All right. If that'll get me advantage, that's where I'm going. You su <laughs> All right. You succeed. Make your attack roll. OK. Um, I probably have to have one hand on the rope, right? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yes. OK. So then it will just be uh, the attack with the, the magic sword. Yep. I'm just like watching this, like, what is even happening? <laughs> 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 What is this about? <laughs> oh, that's right. I have advantage. Oh. 11. 11 plus 10 is 21. What? Oh, you have, you I, have advantage. I rolled an 11 and Got then... Got it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, 21 hits. Yeah. yeah. It would. It would. Yeah. You stab it in the mouth. And I need the advantage because that gets me my sneak attack. Oh, so that's 10, 20, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 32. What did this dinosaur ever do to you? <laughs> yeah, really. All right, uh, this dinosaur takes that. It's grievously wounded. You impale your <clears throat> sword up into the roof of its mouth. Grab onto its <laughs> tongue. <laughs> no, I've got the rope. The rope. Yeah, I need one more arm. <laughs> you didn't think about it at all. Oh. <laughs> Not for I mean, a that's, second. That's just the end of my turn. <laughs> right. Yeah. Jim. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, uh, forgot, I forgot the third gargoyle. Yes. Yeah, so there's one more gargoyle, right? And yes. the T-Rex. I forgot the gargoyle. Um, it is uh, going to attack Strix. Good. Um, misses with its bite and misses with its claws. Huh. Huh. Interesting. Right. Sorry, Jim, you're up. Uh, let me tell you what I'd like to do. Okay. I assume that I can hop over the side on my broom. I would like to go down to 18. Okay. And I want to pull whatever pin is holding him in there. And I want to get on the back and I'm casting Featherfall, so that we're just, the two of us are going down. All right. Eighteen. You release 18. Yeah. 18 falls like a stone. You cast Featherfall. Yep. You can cast that any time on the way down. Do you want to do it? I want to build up some momentum first. All right. We're just going like a, like a missile, a dinosaur missile right at this T-Rex. Yes. You come right down on the T-Rex. Yeah. You're about to hit the T-Rex. And, and then I pop it. Boom. You're pop floating. It. <laughs> You're floating. Yeah. Drifting slowly down to the angered T-Rex. <laughs> 18 lands gently on its back. <laughs> I landed a Triceratops on the back of a T-Rex. I just want to appreciate that for a second. All right. It is. As this is happening, I'm just like watching with horror on it, my face. Like. It is the T-Rex's <laughs> turn. Uh, that's more distracting than you. Woohoo! <laughs> so you're free and clear. The first time I didn't, haven't minded the you upstage. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You're upstaged, you tear your sword out as it turns its head around. You sort of go slowly tumbling off its back with your... Okay. Well, actually, you're not Featherfall, your dinosaur is, but you're on it. So yep. you kind of 
tumble slowly off to the side. The dinosaur turns around fully and looks at you, Jim. And this evil dinosaur, you see in its eyes more malevolence than you would expect in a dumb animal, certainly more malevolence than mm. you've seen in any animal. Uh, and it will try to bite down on you. Oh. You have how many hit points? I'm on the back of a triceratops. Well, I, I'm, not, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm yeah. just saying, I'm your saying right. as, flashy. as your cleric. Listen, every book about dinosaurs has a picture of a triceratops beating the shit out of a T Rex. <laughs> It's, but it's, but and no, by hold on, hold on, hold on. What I want to say is that these pictures have the Triceratops goring the belly, not <laughs> riding the the T Rex. Make an attack roll for your Triceratops as it reacts. Oh! So as this creature bites down at you, your Triceratops gores it through the side, does crit <laughs> damage. So roll 8d8 plus what 6. The what the I guess you were right. One. I guess it does. I guess that's what happens. All right, I need somebody to help <laughs> here, me here. Here, 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 here. Roll here. Roll individual dice, and we will all add it. OK, so it was 1, 3, Four. 6. 10. 5. 15. Three, eighteen. <laughs> three. How many more do I get? How many was that? I get two more. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Seven. We're the worst. Eight. Thirty-six. Thirty-six. Yeah. Plus six. Plus six. Forty-two. Forty-two. All 42. right. Uh, you, the Tyrannosaurus hits you with a 28. <laughs> Just, yeah. It actually rolled an 18 on the die. <laughs> and does 33 points of damage to you. I don't know that though. I'm still, I'm still crying somewhere because so of the meme. The rest of you see the Tyrannosaurus get gored. It snaps Jim. Jim's gone. <laughs> and then the two dinosaurs sort of tumble down off the amphitheater and crash down. It's slow motion. And when they hit bottom, you're pretty clear the Tyrannosaur is dead. Death, death Ward. It's, it's how he would have wanted to go. <laughs> he, no, 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 wait. I want to I do over. I want to do over. <laughs> he died doing what he loved most. <laughs> Riding two dinosaurs at once. <laughs> Riding a dinosaur? Who was Riding, Riding another dinosaur? So... The rest of you saw Jim dispel the death ward. Yeah. So he's gone. God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> God damn it. It's like, well, you know, that's what you get. That's what you get. I lower the airship down near this pile of dinosaur meat. All right, it lands. Mary Poppins, y'all! <laughs> <clears throat> Here. Actually, legitimately, I would let go of the rope and I would run to Jim, like, post haste. You don't see oh. it. Like, I know he's got to be in, like, the thing's mouth. No, I go, uh, I go, and, yeah. I go and get him. All right. Don't tell him those ah. things. Just be like... All right, uh, so you go to the mouth and you see that this creature must have swallowed Jim. So you'll either have to cut it open or go down its gullet. Uh, no, I can take care of that. You got this? Yeah. This is your thing, right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Not I think this, this is the kind of thing where you should be able to get out of your contract. <laughs> uh. All right, yeah. so you crawl down the dead Tyrannosaurus's throat. Great. 
Mm -hmm. yep. You find about six things to add to your collection. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> and then you, you see this arm, <sighs> and you just start to pull on it. Make a strength athletics check. God, to try to... Why do I, I always make these? <laughs> the worst. Uh, that's an eight. All right. You hear moaning <laughs> like, within the gullet of the is, creature. Is like your foot still sticking out? Because honestly, I was there ready to cut it open, and you're like, huh, and you just start crawling right <laughs> there. <laughs> no one even asked her to do it. Uh, I'm like, to be honest, I really just wanted some of the guts, but I probably would have tied a rope around myself, to be honest. Yeah, yeah okay, but there's she ties a rope around everything else. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <clears throat> All right. I'm like, I'm like, Kick twice if uh... <laughs> she kicks you in the head twice. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> what? Like, we need some teamwork here. Is rope to tug on? Alondria. <laughs> <laughs> Down she comes. The elf comes over. Hold this. And pulls. With Alondria's help, you pull Strix out, and with Strix comes Jim Dark Magic. Is, how is Jim doing? Uh, he seems to be death warded. What is that? He lied to me. With no help from anyone else, I have survived. <laughs> I saved his life. So, Jim, you're still unconscious. Oh. Oh, he's talking, talking yes. from the grave. <laughs> oh, no, you're at one hit point. My mistake. Perfect. Yes, yeah. there you go. Takes a lot more than a two dinosaurs to kill Jim Dark Magic. <laughs> I'm so upset. I've inadvertently <laughs> just made him more infamous. <laughs> All right, so after pulling Jim out of the gullet of this creature, Strix, you stand up and you're just covered with goop and gore and uh, it's lovely. Yeah. So, meta speaking, we are running out of time. We're in the last two minutes. Yeah. So to close this out, what would you like to do? Is 18 alive? 18 is alive. Uh, <laughs> Your, your feather fall. Yeah. You take care. You take care it's of this It's like the scene like. in Jurassic Park where she's listening to the breath. Like, I'm just laying on his side and he's, <laughs> he breathes. I'm just going to be like, I saved his life. Uh, up, on the, uh, up on the deck of the ship, um, I have a mystical incinerator. You do. Um, I remove uh, a contract from my pouch. <laughs> and I feed it into the device. <laughs> I, right. say, I say, Strix, it's been an absolute pleasure. Well, we'll come back and help you. You don't have to use infernal contracts, you know. You can just ask. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and that's what I'll do next time. Good. Just, just send, send a bird or whatever you people do. I don't know. Sure. Sounds good. <laughs> All right. In a black flame, Strix disappears. <laughs> <laughs> Bye! <laughs> On the, on the deck of the ship, I just wanted to spell out, fuck you, Jim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You burn fuck you, Jim, into the yeah. deck of the ship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't fucking lie to me next time. Like, right at your feet? Yeah. yeah. Out of the jungle, coming into the, the bottom of the amphitheater, a small figure, an old woman, she looks at you. And Omen, she seems familiar. You believe you hired her. Halfling? Yes. Big white bun? Yes. Staff of the Master? Yes. Rosie B. Stinger? <laughs> yes! <laughs> and that's where we'll stop for this show. Y'all. Thanks.
still now. <laughs> now, now, 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. Now, Mr. Mr. Green Flag! <laughs> Get out! <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Mr. Perkins, yes. I have to thank Strix. Oh. Yes. I have to thank Strix for coming on the show. We got a special thing here. Hey. All right. Jerry. All right. All right, all right. Can I kick my shit? All right. Strix in the mix with a twist of trash witch. Zoom on a broom fast, getting cash witch. <laughs> Ensemble unplanned, on brand when she brandish. Watch her switch from a trash to an eldritch blast witch. <laughs> Make a sandwich? Are you the big man on campus? Big B's big hand put a man on the canvas. She'll, tur she'll turn some plainer can't to plainer can. <laughs> She's an optimist. I'm getting started. <laughs> and to think for just a handful of jink, I got all this. <laughs> Viari, sorry. I mean, Mr. Dunstucker, <laughs> the one motherfucker Mr. Perkins gives sucker. <laughs> Jim's whims get him tangled. What does it see? Jim's whims get him tangled. I told you about it before. I said you should try to remember it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Oh, 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 I got it. Uh, no, no, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, oh, um, winks. Oh, here, here. Uh, uh, Jim's whims get him tangled up in hijinks. The guy winks, and a shy sphinx tries kinks. <laughs> it was weird. It was a weird one. <clears throat> Come get with this, a menifice higher than a condor, wraps whiter than the kind of tree they got at Gondor. <laughs> all for one and one for all, that's the adage. Get a bandage, because I'm dropping savage damage on the Sabbath. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>